I just got sent a thing called Dino D Day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna accept that and ask about that later. All right, hello. Let's do a check. Oop. Make sure this is all properly working. All right. Uh, right, right, left, left, down, up, right, left, down, up, left. There we go. Uh, I think we're, I think we're good. We just need to. There you go. Just make that a little smaller. And all right, all right. I think we are good. Oops. I think we are good to go. I was gonna Google something, and then I remembered something about the Pokemon that I chose. So, I think we're good. I think we're all good to go. Everyone can hear me all well and good. There was something I wanted to test, but I need a willing volunteer before I test it. So we'll play with some troubleshooting stuff later once we once we have, there's a certain two people I'm thinking of that I need to help me test something, but, 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 but that's not the important thing. Let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Max, also known as Welcome back to Pokemon Diamond, or I should say Brilliant Bugs Challenge. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Brilliant Bugs Challenge. On the last episode, we went the entire stream with without bugs. The goal was to do a bugs only. And we went the entire first stream, the entire first gym, without bugs. So it turns out, no bugs in this game, unless, uh, with the exception of things after like the post game, like post game stuff, can be caught except for this bastard right here, who has a 10% chance of being caught on, oh, whoop, am I peeking out my microphone? I hope not. Who has a 10% chance of being caught in mornings and evenings. That's it. No one else. No one else. Everyone else, you have to headbutt tree, or no, you have to put honey on trees. And I got mad at this because you have to put honey on the tree, wait six hours, but not more than 24 hours. Then there's four separate tables that it chooses between, all of which have different things. And we finally got it. We got ourselves a Heracross, who had a 1% chance. We have ourselves a Burmy. This is a male Burmy, so it's gonna turn into a Mothim. I did research on the Wormadams, and I, like, I found like three or four other Burmies that were all male. I was like, fuck it, we don't need it. No, you don't count. We got Beautifly. <laughs> I was like, what, what, what are you called again? We got, what, wait, are you a Dustox, right? I think it's called? Yeah, Dustox, we got Dustox, which involves getting a Wurple. And then you effectively flip a coin. Something came out of my throat for a second. You flip a coin, and you pray for a beautifly, or you pray for a dust ox. And we got ourselves a female combi, which is important because this will evolve into a Vespa Queen. Now, we need to do some cleanup. We, and also, you may notice I removed the, um, the thing over there. Uh, you may notice I removed the, whoja call it, on the side of the screen because I made a realization. I made a realization that the little, um, the little poker thing on the top that would normally be, like, the bottom of the, like, you know, because if this is, if this was originally on a 3DS, right? Like, it would be the bottom part of the screen. But, um, now I have it on the top right. It's a little nicer. And we need to go clean up some trainers. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know. Fuck my life. I was about to say, I don't really know how this is gonna go down. Shit! Shit! <coughs> I have the plague. Oh, God. This is gonna go miserable. Oh, Jalen, hello. You're actually the person I was waiting for to test something. 2v2, but it's a 2v1. Yeah. Okay, them using quick attack isn't too bad, but, um... Effectively, Jay, what do I want to do if you're okay with it is, um, I wanted to test a few settings and see if you notice, uh, a, a notable quality difference. There you go. Oh, uh, quick reminder, I forgot to say it, so I'll say it now. 
Uh, what we're doing, no, what we're doing with this game is a bug challenge. The idea is simple: only use bugs. Uh, we were gonna, we were considering using Gravile, but um, or whatever, whatever the heck that thing is called. We were considering using, you know, the Turtwig Evolution to get Torterra, but we got enough bugs. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let it go for a bit. We're gonna see how well it works. Turtwig, yes. I forget what it, the evolution is called. I'm just gonna keep pumping Fury. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pumping Fury Cutter because, yeah, you may have just lowered my attack twice, but Fury Cutter doubles the power the more I use it. So, look at that! Look at that! Fuck yeah, Kyojinba. Um, by the, like, I, I probably need probably to explain it. Kyojinba, I think it was basically I took Japanese, I looked up the word Titan and bug, and I called it a day. <laughs> I'm very original. Uh, xylophone, xylophone. Um, Tulatorn, I think I basically had it be like, it was a word for like overcoat. Yeah, it turns out that, um, oh shit, you avoided my fairy cutter. You a little faster. Oh, oh my goodness, struggle bug would have hit both of them. I should have done that the entire time. Yeah, I was waiting for this guy to use, like, Nuzzle or, like, Thundershock or some shit, but... I guess he did it, so we're clean. Look at all that. Yeah, Kyojinba. I did want to go through and um, teach them all some moves, too. But um, the idea of this challenge is very simple. We just use bugs. Uh, if people die, that's okay. We don't need to worry, worry about catching anyone anymore. Because, you know, basically all the Pokemon we're going to use are caught. Uh, Rock Smash looks like... Ooh. Okay, Rock Tomb, Bullet Seed. Okay. Uh, three was the fact that the MC shot Urson. Urson. I'm not showing sure you. Oh, the, uh, the old man advisor? Is, is that what you mean, the old man? Um, yeah, I'm gonna... I recognize this might be a waste. I recognize this might be a waste in some ways, but it strikes me. Rock Smash. Let's see, you're a primarily attack based Pokemon, so let's get rid of Struggle Bug. Let's get rid of Struggle Bug. Just on paper, having Rock Smash is such a good move. But, um. See, I, I didn't do the tutorial, so I'm not sure. When you say MC, I'm not sure who you mean, but I understand you mean Urson is the, um... I understand Urson as the, uh... Oops. Urson as, like, the bear god. The... So I'm not sure who you played as in the tutorial. That's not me trying to be a shit. Like, I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna give... Yeah, screw Fury to Cutter. Yes, I know. If we mega evolved, if we mega evolved the Heracross, we could put Bullet Seed on him and do a bunch of cool shit. But we're not, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And I don't remember if um, Motham can learn Bullet Seed, so I'm gonna hold off on Bullet Seed. In the Select Your Faction page, the Chaos player right next to the kill says he was human and he shot the bear guy. Oh. Oop. You gotta believe me, they're good. Fuck you, kid. I know bear. I know. Uh, not bear. I know bug Pokemon are good. That's why I'm using exclusively bug Pokemon. Because they're the best. Yeah, there you go. Whatever. Fuck you. And I'm out. Um, right next to the Kislevites. So, not corn. The Corn Slanesh or um, Corn Slanesh Zinch or Nurgle, right? So yeah, like, I, I still, I, I still don't know the game very well. I will admit though, I got to, um, I got to turn 100 with Zinch. I've still not collected a se a single freaking Demon Soul. Like, I, I feel pathetic. Is the only way I could describe my emotion. It's just like I, how many times do I have to do this? And I'm still a failure. Like, it is hard. But I am having a lot of fun with it. I will say that. And I am I was surprised when you messaged on the Discord that you bought it too. Which is why I was like, wait, you, you did? Really? You didn't have to? But it is a very fun game. I've, I've, been, I've been really enjoying it. I'm gonna use Rock too. 
Yeah, the guy's not in the main cast. He's a new chaos player. Oh, the uh, Bellacore. He uh, the the uh, the build your, the build your the one that you have to like build yourself kind of a deal. That guy. He seemed interesting. Not gonna lie, but I was more interested in the established. Um, uh, I'll admit, I was I was more interested in the established guys, not because like oh, I'm being, uh, uh, something. Ca oh, uh, chaos undivided or chaos divided or something like that. Is that what you mean? But um, I was just more interested in Zinch and those guys. I watched some videos of um, Slanesh, Slanesh's abilities. They seem just hilarious, so I, I really want to give that a try next. Even though like uh, Slanesh is not the one I would gravitate towards, but the on paper ability of like, yeah, you can convince people to be your vassals, and you can convince. It, it, like every time you're in a fight, you can spend money to steal units from the opponent. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm excited. But that's all that's all things I'm playing on my free time because yeah that that episode did not go well. I don't think many people go on Twitch for Total Warhammer, <laughs> but that's fine. I had fun. Also for the record, I'm just we're just cleaning up gym leaders and since um. Heracross was level 5 earlier. This is our chance to get Heracross up and running. So... Yeah. Oh, oops. I, I shouldn't... Well... I mean, it's not super effective. It's just normal effective. So. I was gonna originally do what I'm... Oh, a demon friend. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was originally going to do what I'm doing right now off camera, but I figured it wouldn't take us very long, and I just didn't get around to it. I got home from work today, and I was like, alright, you know, I got an hour and a half, what am I going to do? I made myself dinner, and had, I made myself food and ate it, I did some ex exercises, did some cleaning. Didn't have a chance to rattle through this with Pokemon real quick. Alright, oh, oh, shit, there's a... There's a staircase there. I'm also really happy that now that we have bugs in this playthrough. Right, now that we have bugs, we can like... You know, so we're not worried about catching anyone. Anymore. You know, catching is irrelevant. And since catching is irrelevant, we don't really gotta worry about training. So a lot of fights we could just kind of walk away from and say who gives a shit. We could just use a repel. We could just use a repel. Go good. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I am sad though, I will admit. This is this is something petty, okay? I'll fully admit this is petty. Actually, hold on. Hold on my a little bit. This is something kind of petty. I'm a little sad the hair cross isn't a boy. The hair cross is a girl. Not because Max is secretly sexist, but because, um... There you go. Not because Max is sexist, but because, um... I think the... I think male hair cross... I think male hair cross looks better, personally. I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm just going. I probably should have headed back home, but... You know, it's fine. Legion of Chaos, led by a demon prince, is a human turned demon who shot. That's oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, my friend Jeremy told me about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you you were more sad on like a heartbreak standpoint of like no, <laughs> kind of a deal. And yeah, you're right. Like you know, like as much as this is the premise for the main campaign. I, 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 get that, I get that. Meanwhile, I play Zinch, and from the get go, they're like, alright, your goal, we're gonna peck out the eyes of this bear god thing. And I'm like, alright, alright, cool. In those games, I'm. Oh, I think this is actually the path towards progress that they want me to go towards. Let's leave. Let's leave. Yeah, let's leave. Yeah, let's turn. Wait, hold on. Why is it? I just mentally realized that. Why is Psyduck in here? Fuck that. You punch, the sh you punch the shit out of you. There you go. 
Also, they said the Great Bear. I was thinking a bear that was like 15 feet tall. Like, 15 feet tall. <laughs> like, do you remember the, um, do you remember the primal, the primal King Zerg, whatever it was, in, uh, StarCraft 2? Where, like, you, where the final boss fight was basically, like, you had to dodge the attacks with Kerrigan and stuff like that? That's how big it is. Like, it's, it's a god. It's a dying endure. Endure sucks. Endure's worthless. Like, unless you have, like, a really gimmicky strategy, Endure is dumb. But Max, Endure is useful for... Whatever. I don't like Endure. But, um... Oh, whatever! No, I should, I should, I should get that. Make sure the path is clear, heal up, and then go, and then jump back in. Yeah. And then we'll just we'll keep leading with Heracross. Oh, we'll keep leading with Heracross. And then ba basically my idea is whenever anyone hits level 18. Obviously we're going up against small fries. So um whenever anyone hits level 18, we'll bank them. Kind of a deal. And the idea is we're gonna get everyone to level 18 and then we'll and then we'll bring everyone back out so we're all an even playing field. Alright, you gotta know a lightning type move. You, you, you have. Shit. I'm gonna punch for sure. <laughs> I love it. This is like, what's my strategy? Punch. And that was with lowered attack. Would you like to rethink your oh shit? Wait, is... I thought Bug was inherent. I thought Bug was inherently weak to him. Also, the way only with the Tone of Fate seems to be is that he's tied to the tomb and won't die and he wants to die, but the way he talked about Clown, I was like, oh, I should be either good or bad. The way I interpreted it was that, um, he's a neutral party. Like, he doesn't really care who he's helping, he's willing to help anyone. Because ultimately, um, he... He's cursed to only use the book in service to others. He can't use it for his own gains. We don't know what his own gains are, but for whatever for whatever faction we play as, to a certain extent, we don't really care. We don't really care what his intentions are because he's like, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I need a drop of that thing's blood. And it can live or die after that. I just need to drop it in its blood, and otherwise I will help you. Right, so like, you know, things can live if they have a drop of blood. <laughs> it'd be kind of cool if like, um, it's like, it'd be kind of cool if you helped him, you help him and then like, he's like a secret faction. I highly doubt they would do that. But, like, conceptually, I think that... Oh. Fuck it. We're good. We're good. Let's just keep going. But, um... It'd be kind of cool if he was, like, some kind of hidden faction or whatever. Have a, have a StarCraft moment with, um... Whatever that one, whatever the one god at the end is, who he's like, he's a mix of everyone, maybe. That's me making bullshit up. But, um. I know there's, I know there's more lore with him. But in, like, Warhammer 2, all he is is an advisor. Like, he's the tutorial. He's the tutorial face kind of a dude. So it's interesting seeing him take a much more prominent role. Um, let me grab the map. Okay, so Flow Roma. That's the goal. And I was kind of going I've been to Orberg, right? Oh, I was going through this shit, wasn't I? I was going through this shit. Uh I can probably just go north. Let's just go north, yeah. Um The cheat code is life and just fucking run over because then he knows all cause of it, or is it just from the yeah, just maybe he's just like, fuck this book. I hate it. I don't want anything to do with it. You know, this thing has been nothing but a burden. I I don't know. It's it's interesting. I, I like how they add more to him. I'm gonna be honest though, I don't really know the full 
I don't know the full lore of all Warhammer. So like, oh, he actually shows up in these 18 books. And he actually is the blah, 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 blah. Like, I... Oh, I forgot. I was gonna give everyone a Pokemon item. A uh, held item give. Oranberry. Oh, Oranberries. Um, give. This feels cumbersome. Nope, damn it. Swap held items. Give an item. Give it to a Pokemon. There you go. Give an item. Give it to a Pokemon. One, 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 <laughs> one. Oh, um, okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is, um, since, as you know, the human voice sounds different to people why they hear it themselves so I'm gonna change some sound settings on my voice and I just want to I just want to ask if it sounds better or worse to you wait if you only have one type of Pokemon you'll have a hard time against types it's weak to but you go fuck yourself how about that say so that bitch you don't know me you don't own you don't own me. Alright, so that that's all it is. That's all it is. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add two filters. Just gonna add two filters on the most basic settings. And you tell me if it sounds better. No, they're they're active right now. They're active right now. The idea is supposed to be it's a compressor and a limiter. So hopefully it will make it so that, um, hopefully it will make it so that I sound a little better, a little cleaner. If I yell, it will max out the microphone, that kind of a thing. Honestly, it's something that I should have had a while ago. I just never got around to it. Sorry. Um, oh, fun fact. Uh, I forget what day of the week. But I think it's Wednesday off the top of my head. Drifloons show up there. And I killed it. And I really wanted to keep it because I gen I don't know if I'd say Drifloon is like I'm not gonna say Drifloon's one of my favorites and I would want him on like my main main team. But um I really like Drifloons. Like this one, get a whiff of this, and she like has like the Joker like knockout cast flower, just like psh bitch. Well, I hear no chair for normal talk voice, so my only know is to hide it. So you're saying what I need to do is to start screeching! Also, hmm. What the do is level 14. However, absorb is a shitty move, so. Heck, I might start using Rock Smash just to lower the defense. Nah, I'll just, I'll just stay good and true with the uh, tackle. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, smarty pants. Oh, that actually saves me. That actually saves me, surprisingly. Or if I go, whoop! Maybe a slight less edge. Okay, I'll keep it on then. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on then. Just because, um... Nice. Just because if it if it's a little less painful for you guys, like, yep, yeah, I'm happy with it. All right, um, I'm gonna go to my bag. Antidote. There you go. Thank you. I was also worried about like, oh my god, have to raise or lower volume or anything like that. It really might be more noticeable to look at the Yeah, I'm looking at the readout bars right now, and um, sometimes it seems like it's like lower, but other times, whoop! Yeah, like it stops, it stops me from going whoop into the red. So, anyways, sorry, I know, I know, it's boring. 
I know it's boring me asking about that, but I just wanted to check with you because you are very active in the chat. So that way I don't just like ambush the first person that like comes visit uh, comes and visits. And it's like, hey! How's my sound? Yeah, I mean. Oh, you you sit there. You sit there and raise your defense. Oh, you raise your defense. You you raise your defense so good. You you're so good at oh. No no no, raise your defense again. Raise your defense again. It's funny. It's funny. Raise your defense. There you go. There you go. There you go. I just 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 if you could just if you could just hold still there you go. GG. You got going on, but I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, nice. Nope. I'm out of Pokemon that can battle. All I got is rock. Alright, um, looks like I can run down. Oh, I got it. I got it. See, now, now that I've caught all the Pokemon I want, if anything, I just want to avoid the grass. It's like, you're you're not a good source of experience compared to those trainers. Like, you're level 8. Uh, I mean, you're level 8. I'm level 11, so you're not, you're not super far up. Alright. <laughs> Shit. The Grand Underground. Yeah, that's the uh, post-game area. And here... I forgot to do this earlier. What, something I was doing while... Um, something I was doing while... Uh, while working on the working on the trees was I was planting our ram berries, which is why I had 50 of the bitches. Because all the other berries, I really don't care about. Uh, well, there's another one that heals like 30 hit points, but um, otherwise, I don't know. Both are a software type thing. Just think they had include hardware that the software installed so it's done when you turned on the mic. Oh. So this is just like unnecessary doubling up. You're thinking kind of a deal? I gotcha. That makes sense. Ah, jeez. Intimidator is so good. I'm just gonna rock smash the shit out of you. Yeah, you're gonna lower my. Oh, that's right. It's not 100% chance. Yeah, you're gonna lower my attack. How about you go? Fuck. You. I'm just gonna I don't know. Near my. You said you got Blue Yeti. Uh, I had a Blue Yeti. Blue, Di Blue Yeti was the first one I got. This is a uh, Audio Technica. I'm not gonna pretend to know brands. You got a God Wave. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend to know brands very well. Um, I just, I remember I did the research at one point in time and then this was an upgrade for it. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know the exact statistical whatevers. Holy shit! Stop lowering my attack! Stop it! Just go down! Okay, I, I got I got it. I got, I got, I got to switch out hair across, or else that, or else this is gonna be like the world's longest fight of me just like desperately trying to, desperately trying to mess with its defense. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you little shit. You have, ch I bet you have growl too. You have charm, growl. Oh my goodness, you do. You have charm, growl, and baby dog. Do you even have an attack? Do you even have a flipping attack? Nope. Nope. All right, switching out. Uh, let's get. Oh my goodness! Everyone has attack except for you two. Um. Yeah, I did it. Also, apparently, I played Total War and for, for 14 hours. Jeez, got a day off of you. Well, I guess it's Sunday. So, jeez, you're really going ham on it. <laughs> All right, um, Gus is not very effective. Absorb is kind of effective. 40, stab, 60, 30. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I don't think I have the ability to lens, so... If I had tinted lens... No, I, I, I think... I think off the top of my head, Beautifly has Swarm. So... Not... Not the most useful. I mean, it's nice. It's nice when it comes into effect, but that's when it comes into effect very often. So... Ah, jeez, you're a little pain in the ass. Alright, Veladier. Veladier got to be level 18, and so did Hamadare, which is great. Good shit. Yep, good shit. Alright, so as a result, they... Hold on, let me just... So as a result, both you need to be put into the box because we are trying to level everyone else up. Uh. Oh gee, were they those rogue armies kind of a deal? That's something else that I'm not getting in uh in Warhammer 3. Like, like in okay, so I I only play Warhammer 2. I don't know Warhammer 1 very well. Um. Rogue armies would pop up every now and then, and they could be a problem, but they weren't like game ending problems. Kind of While in Warhammer 3, like they just kept spawning, and at one point I made friends with them, and the rogue army was the strongest faction in the game. Like, appar apparently they were the strongest. I, one was Plague Swamp, I think the other was Crone. I had the, uh, it was like the Sons of. It was like the Kurgan Raiders or some shit like that. I don't know what it was exactly. But um, there was just this spot that I started near, and they just kept spawning and kept spawning. And eventually, like, they attacked one of my allies, and I was like, okay, yo, I'm friends with them, but they're attacking my ally. I need to put a stop to this. And um, yeah, you. I need to put a stop to this. I started fighting back against them. And every time I took down one of their armies, it was like a Hydra. Three more would pop out. And it was... Yeah, and my main army, he's off in the rat races in one of the Demon Prince's realms, just trying to freaking get to the center. Like, it feels like in Warhammer 3, it's a lot... You always feel like you're behind. It always feels like you have so much on your plate and you need more armies, but you don't have a way to make more money. It's it's rough. It's rough, not gonna lie. Like I'm halfway tempted to play on easy. Just because of how behind I feel. And then also how like whenever the demon gates spawn, they spawn I could be wrong about this. It feels like they spawn like one uh It feels like nice. It feels like they spawn almost like one of uh, one of province. So whenever they're like, "Hey, you know, hey, Bagee Bagoo, the rat races are about to begin again," you have to pull back all your armies from everywhere and just be like, "Everyone, get home, get home." You have to run around now. Yes, yeah, Samus. You have to run around your land like crazy, just trying to keep up and like. You know, you get your lord through one gate, good shit, and then you have to close all the other ones. And I know you can do it with heroes. I learned that that um, you can send a hero to do it, and it costs money. But it's still just nightmarish trying to keep up with all of it. I'm actually still going to play it for like how many million hours, aren't you? Oh yeah, totally. 100%. Oh, without a doubt. I need to go back and heal it. Not, and I know I know I just use a potion, so it's not for that reason. It's more that um, I'm right now at power points for Rock Smash, and Rock Smash is my best move. I closed the Nurgle Slanesh. Your dudes did not see a Chrome Portal. Um, yeah, I think it's I could be wrong, but it seems like it's random. Or nah, maybe they're like said and like it's always a whatever portal or something. Yeah. But um. Just a lot of work. Right. 
I, you're in a different class. That's right. I'm an algebra bitch. Oh, wait. Oh, is that a... Oh, damn it. No, no, no. Hang on. Hey, hey, hang on. Hang on. Let's talk about this. I was like, maybe that house I can... Maybe I can rest at that house. Oh, gal. Holy shit. You got a Piplop? What? You have a Piplop? That's awesome. Look for rocks at it. Yeah, fuck you. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Uh... Okay, okay. She stole it. Well, actually, hold on. Let's stop and think about this for a moment. I took the Turtwig. What's his face? The rival took the Chimchar. Are you the third traitor? I think she was the third traitor. I just kicked her ass. Look here, Karina. Oh, boo. How insulting. How'd you get that Pipla? How'd you get that Pipla? How'd, how'd you get that Pipla? I need to know. Please let me take a nap. Yes! No. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I do. Yes. Thank you for your kitchen bed. It's mine now. I own it. Thank you. Meanwhile, I, like, look at my bag and, like, half my money is gone. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I had, I had 6,404 yen, like, off the dead body. <laughs> Pulls out a little knife. But, um... Yeah, I, I had about like 6,404 yen, like, uh, uh, what happened to it? She's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, ho-hum. Who knows where it went, huh? I have to pull my knife on Grandma. Look here. Look here. Shit. <laughs> you have words. Nice. Ah, Tula Torn. When Burmy gets to level 20, he's gonna turn to a Motham and it's gonna be great. Um, ow. Well, God, I could probably bypass that shit. Uh, many poison type Pokemon make Eternal Forest their home, but I didn't buy any answers. What should I do? Do I press on or do I go back? Go back, bitch. It's my territory. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Abitharina. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Abitharina, may I ask you a big favor? Favors, illogical. I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard there's a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there will be safety in numbers. Please, may I go with you? Hmm. Teamwork, logical. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. But time stands still. Hey, can you can you help that can you help that kid? Like he needs he need, he needs a he needs an antidote. Hey kid, hey kid, here's an antidote. Okay, I guess I can't give you one. All right, um, you'll just have to. <gasps> the pasta. If I had an Eevee, I could get a leafy on there. Oh, what the fuck? You got wormples in here? Google Live to me. How dare Google lie to me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat the shit out of that wormhole because I don't have a bug type move yet. So there you go. You got you got something against that. You got something against that. Whatever the fuck, right? I don't got a bug type move. So I'm gonna get farther in life just switching. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll switch to the torn. Cause he, he's gonna be a little, he's gonna be a, he's gonna be a bitch to level up. Yeah, you, you do that. A oh, hundred and eleven. Um, I don't know if she's she's probably the next gym leader. Let's be honest. 
she's probably gonna be the next gym leader. Heracross is gonna be like the only one that stands a chance of taking down Chansey. Holy shit. Oh, go fuck yourself. Damn it. God, it's 111. Uh, 111 or 15 or however many hit points. I already forgot. 111. At level 15. Cure me of my dick. Cure me of my damn paralysis. Okay, to cure me of my damn paralysis. Okay, if you just, if you just. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think she'd actually do it. I was just talking shit. I was just talking some shit. And, um... Huh. Huh. I was not expecting that. Wait, is that two people? Oh, shit. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon. Fuck yeah, kid. Bug Pokemon. Also, they need reworks and stuff, because in Siege with Kron, they attacked and destroyed me with fire and troops. I had 700. They killed all 700, only killed 10, they call it close to heat. Um, how's that supposed to win I, an extra foreign guys to go? Um, probably, like, the, um, just you saying that and me, like, not knowing the situation, right? I would make a bet that the, um, oh shit, that thing was spark. I would make a bet that the, uh, the units that the opponent had like most of them almost died or they took heavy 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 casualties kind of a deal and like the, the wording on like close versus decisive versus Eric or versus whatever I'd be lying if I said it is consistent because sometimes it is like Puric victory and I was like oh shit this is awful but all my units survived oh shit yo like oh I took heavy casualties but I didn't lose a unit so I just regenerated all of them and it was fine so is it really a pure, you know, I mean, it, take, it took me a few turns, but I was fine. Like, it's, and I'd, I'd be lying if I said, if I said, like, it's always perfect in that regard. Um, sing? Nah, sing, no, sleep is dumb. Sleep is dumb. I'd rather have stun powder or something like that. Oops. Yeah, you keep slap you keep slapping that chance. Yeah, suck it, Chancy. Yeah, you whatever. Whatever you're freaking doing. If I had to guess, it, it's just a matter of like It's just a matter of like how much casualties you take. Like if I was gonna make up numbers, like a decisive would be like less than 20%. You know, like decisive, close, Puric, I think. I forget. No! Shit! But I, I get I, I, I understand. I understand that confusion. Then punch the shit out of Punch the shit out of squirrel. Back. That bug kid's like, hey, that bug kid, uh, that bug kid says, hey, that bug kid just like absolutely pile drive my Pokemon. Like, what the fuck? Damn it! It's a race between Pachirisu's defenses going down and my attack going down. Come on. Ah! Chansey, finish it off. Finish it off, Chansey. Good job. Good job. Nice. Area. Oh my goodness. Yes. 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 Fuck Lear. 
Oh my goodness, Aerial Ace. And they never gave a time frame as to how long you need to hold them up. Probably last for 15 minutes before. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. It bugs me people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. I'm using bugs. I'm using bugs. Right now. You bastard. Alright, uh, we gotta go in back into here, though. We gotta... Move you out there. There you go. And, um, I recognize, I recognize, uh, who do you want to call it? Tulatorn is about to be level 18. I'm going to keep Tulatorn in there, just on the grounds of, um, Tulatorn needs experience, because he's kind of in, like, a shitty state right now. And I don't have a bug type move, so this is awkward. I mean, I think the default time of battle class is an hour, but since you can slow down or speed up fights, it's, like... Not quite an hour. You, you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna oh! <laughs> <sighs> it may have also, like, okay, I say this once again without knowing the situation, right? It may have been a situation where, like. Oh, yo, know, you. They say. They say you need to um, hold off his forces, but maybe you need to hit a specific unit or kill a certain amount of their units or something. But I, like I said, I, I don't know. I, I don't. But um, I I don't know the situation, so I'm I'm doing my best not to talk out of my ass. It is I that have gone down into defeat with my bull ass haircut. Um, I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like I said, I promise I'm not trying to talk out of my ass. Like I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Not without like seeing the quest, and seeing what they expected out of you, and seeing what's going on. I, I have no idea. That is weird though. That like you held on for 15 minutes and like. You're, you're fighting, taking down dudes, and then they still were like, nah, not good enough. That sucks. Bitch. Oh my god. Yeah, it sucks. It is a brutal game, too. Not gonna lie. I, uh. Oh, I'm gonna ruin these kids' lives. Ruin these kids' lives. My senses tingle. I've spotted a rare Pokemon. It's my Pokemon. Here comes the swarm. <gasps> For the swarm. Oh god, that is a lot of Pokemon. Oh my god, it's the Albermy. Albermy the Wurmple. Alright, you stick to your lane, sister. I'm gonna focus on slapping the shit out of these guys. You worry about that firm, he's probably gonna sit there and use protect endlessly. Let's just, let's just stop and be honest with ourselves for a second. It's gonna sit there and... What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit, that's actually kinda scary. Too bad I'm gonna use the exact same strategy again. Sorry, it's just so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, alright, so I'll keep I'll keep Tulatorn. I I'll keep Tulatorn in the fight. Even though I know his um even though he's 18 because I'm cool with Tulatorn getting a lead because his stats suck right now. Fuck you! His stats suck right now, and I want him to I want him to evolve into Motham so we can actually like turn up. Ah, you're you're Iron Man in it, or just going off those auto saves. Last well, days are at 77. Yeah, so can't really go back that far. I gotcha. Gotcha.
No. You healed me for my, like, two hit points. And your four hit points. I feel like we outclass them slightly. I feel like there might be a slight, slight power difference going on here. Ah, uh, damn. That sucks, I'm sorry. Whoa. See, the problem is, I want to explore. I want to explore with Cheryl. But I know if I explore too much, she might be like, oh, this is the end, thank you, and then leave, and I'm not going to have, like, a little infinite healer. Which on one side is, like, good, more experience for me, but on the other side is, like, this infinite healer is really nice. To say, really nice. Okay, I know I'm gonna find out and saw that, but then I went, well, now I know what I need to. Yeah, right. Like, like not gonna lie, the uh, the campaign that I did on stream, I I restarted. I restarted from that. Because I was like, oh, I now realize I need to do X and Y and Z. And I need to focus these buildings and not these buildings. And that kind of a thing. So don't, don't feel bad about that. Kind of like I said on stream, Warhammer is very much a game, or Total War Warhammer is very much a game where, like, it's okay to fail. It's okay to restart. It's okay to try again. You know, do never think less of yourself for doing that because there's so many different things you gotta be aware of. Especially when you get like character specific where you're like, oh, getting X city should be my first priority. Getting X upgrade. You know, having Y as my ally should be like the topmost priority kind of thing. So don't, don't feel bad about that. These court codes are Jeez, now I want to play Warhammer. <laughs> fuck, am I doing play? Fuck, am I doing play Pokemon? I'm gonna play Warhammer. Alright, um. Okay, so we got the two psychics. We got two more psychics, so I'm gonna. gonna switch into Latorn so we can use um, Bug Bite. This force is strange, you know. It seems to fill me with energy. She's kind of weird. She got like, she keeps talking about uh, these crystals. <laughs> it's weird. Nope. Okay, okay. So the meta type's a problem just on the. Dies being chat. Um, you're a psychic fighting, right? I say I don't think you turn into a. I don't think you. Really? Really? You're pure fighting? Do you not turn into a psychic? Do you not turn into a psychic fighting until later? Huh. Not bad. Well, it's still. still stab. It's whatever. Oh shit. Hey. Bitch. There you go. Does that affect both of us? Just one of us. Ah! Ah, dang it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. No, oh, fuck off. Mm. Uh, there's another gameplay called Medi uh, Medieval Kingdoms War, and the control to fight yourself is extended, but Kingdom Wars is more user friendly. The fact that I can say, hey, it's you, it goes after this, or does this, or only this, and those around to do that. So it just felt a little better. I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, not my chancy, not my problem. Not my chance, not my. Ah, damn it. Not my chancy, not my problem. Okay, it's a little bit my problem, but it's mostly not. 
And Dolls to Donuts. Dolls to Donuts, she's gonna use life, too. So I'd be very impressed if... I got faith. I got faith. I got faith. Use life, do. There you go. Use life, do. Use life, do. You dumb bitch. You dumb bitch. All that delicious experience was gonna go into Tulatorn. You dumb bitch. Well, fine. I guess I'll just. Punch the shit out of it. Fire, just fracking cat. There you go. Oh. Uh, okay. That's, that's pretty nice. I like that. That way you can have them focus fire things. Like, um, whenever I have flying units, I usually have them focus on artillery so you could, like, set them to. I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Lady, you want to explain to me why you didn't? Why you did not have Chansey rapid firing life do there? When both of us were beat to shit and like about to die? Do you, do you, wanna, do you wanna. You wanna just. You wanna, you wanna fill me in on that shit? Wanna. Wanna. Wanna help me out? Wanna help me out? See, I'm trying to do some research on strategy and uh, why the fuck? Just why the fuck? Like, oh, because I thought you'd be able to kill that, uh, I thought you'd be able to kill the Psyduck with your bug bites. Right. Just kind of, like, let the Templars get in the way and do damage, or let, let them get in the way and do a decent amount of damage while the Trebuchets, like, did the actual work. Kind of a deal. See, that's the way you play. I don't, I forget if they're Warhammer 3, but, um... You like the Empire, you like the Skaven, the pirates, vampires to a certain degree, except vampires don't have um, artillery. Their artillery is more wizards. Oh shit! Oh shit, it's a Paneri! Don't tell me this isn't very effective. Ah! Fuck off. Fuck off with your lowering my attack. You know I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. There you go. Just, oh, you're so Nice. Nah, nah, nah. Can't see I have no sympathy. Wait, they can heal themselves? They had regeneration? Holy shit, that's amazing! Just let them sit out of the fight for like a little bit, then bring them back into wreck house. That's awesome! That's super good! Yeah. Man, to think I could have come here to catch the. Well, I guess I caught the Whirlpools, so all's well, but still. So I could I could have ran in here and caught Whirlpools. Come on, Tulatar. Come on, Tulatar. You can do it. I say once... Once Kyojinba turns level 18, we're gonna bring everyone else back in, but you're gonna lead the group because you gotta get to level 20. Or if I have any rare candy, I might just throw it at you just to, just to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh shit, they're ready. <laughs> I would say Silicoons and Cascoons. That's really nice though. Like in terms of abilities, just have like I'm guessing I'm guessing Templars were like very much end game kind of a deal. 
Because I would say the, the ability to have like a really strong, even if it's slow infantry that regenerates on its own is incredible. Yeah! You saw my computer did that too. It, it, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I wouldn't fret too hard about it. Just kind of. Oh, oops. I just attacked an empty space. Oh shit, it auto corrected to go towards the only target. That's incredible. Because in the past, if that happened, the game would just let you miss and be like, sucks to suck. Be like, wow, you should pay more attention. I'd be like, fuck you. Oh shit. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. Right. I would never have been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Abatharina. Meal ticket! I have a name. Your name is Meal Ticket! Where's my meal ticket, bitch? Oh, it's the, yeah, it's the other side. Bitch, where's my meal ticket at? Oh shit, look! I need more berries. And my delicious salad. Oh, oops. I, I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? It works. Works perfect. Good for you. Good for you. Ethan. So, how much do you want to bet the theme of this? How much do you want to bet the theme of this run is going to be we try our best to let other Pokemon do things? But at the end of the day, it's just Heracross laying freaking waste. Oh, shit. Uh, nope, that's not. Nope, nope. Damn it. Nope. Uh, I would like to select. And I feel like letting combi. Actually, no, 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 no. We said we we just said we just said we're gonna let Tulatorn lead until he gets level twenty. But first, we gotta take the time to pick and water all these berries. Oh. Let's see. Uh. You also only had to deal with Europe countries. Just didn't do a whole lot there. I wouldn't say that. Like, have you seen? Have you played Age of Empires? Like Age of Empires 2, like the detail they go to the different race oh races is awesome. But I I get that if it's like an older game, you know, keeping it keeping it low key. I just ate stomach. Nope. Alright. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, like, alright, Shellus, you think. Or not Shellus. Uh, alright, Tulatorn. It's a Bidoof. It's a Bidoof, and you don't have a berry. You think you got this? I think you got this. Unless he, unless he starts pulling some bullshit. Yeah, unless he starts pulling some major bullshit. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's not too major bullshit. It's okay. Oh, we, we, gotta, we gotta fight those fishermen, probably. Oh god, it's a lot of fishermen. Ooh. I made myself a feisty trader. Let's go. Don't call me that. Oh. Oh, okay. But. Yeah. Sounds fun. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Sounds like a fun time. Oh god. Okay, if I remember correctly, I would say Goldie's. 
Okay, so I'm grass type, so I guess I'm not grass type. Okay, never mind. Goldings may or may not know Peck from the get-go. So this could be rough. This could be very rough. Uh, we're gonna probably need to get a total of... Yep, yep, there it is, there it is. There, there it is. Thank goodness my defense is so high. But I am confused. Ah, okay, one more, one more, we got it. One more, we got it. One more. Come on, slap it up, slap it up, slap it up, slap it up. Damn it. I was gonna say, we can only survive one more attack, like, if we... Oh, oh, oh. yet? Nope. <laughs> I let a big wind slip away. I'm gonna go heal, cause we need two Latorn to lead. What's up, kid? Feels great riding a bike! Give me yours! Huh? What are they doing to your Pokemon? They're probably eating them. Child, they're probably eating your Pokemon. It's the only logical conclusion. Was gonna shake me down. That kid was gonna shake me down on the spot. He's like, "Hey, you! Ah, never mind. You look strong." I'm like, uh, fuck you. The guys, like, hey, you got some nice looking shoes. Looks like they'd fit me if you know what I mean. Jeez. Wait, you're the magic card. Yep. <laughs> I'll say, like, wait. There's always a magic card guy. You're the magic card guy. And I'm gonna get like zero experience. Oh, this is gonna take a while. This, this is gonna take a while. But, <laughs> the Tula Tart needs the experience. Oh God, Tula Tart. Why? I'm gonna kill him and it's gonna be like next to nothing. If, it, if I kill him and it's next to nothing, I'm gonna switch to someone who has an orb and just let them go a little faster, if you will. Oh, God! No! 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 Okay, uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just no, no. They, they get us out. Get us out of here. Oh, I hate this. I think it would work better if I use gust anyway. Uh, I think it would work better if I use gust anyway. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's find out. We're we only got like five Pokemon to go. Might as well. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Five perfect. I chuck it and then chuck my other leg in the same spot so it can happen again. Do it again. There you go. Two of them all depressed because he's like, oh, I thought I had my time to go. Two of them, buddy, buddy. Yes, you could have won that. I want you to know that you could have done it, but it would have taken forever. Max is gaining patience because he, now he wants to play Warhammer. Hmm. 
But fuck, I just found out that I quiet the clan. I was all like, hey, let's be friends. And my first place, the clan needs to just wipe out and take over. <laughs> God, I love, I love it when that happens. But like, it's in your victory conditions. Like, hey, destroy X faction. And like, you don't read it, so you're just making friends with whoever because you just want to like, you know, focus on one person at a time kind of a deal. And then they're like your best friends in the games. It's like, you have to kill them. Like, I don't, I don't know if you're aware that they need to die. <laughs> you're just like, oh, shit. All right. All right, if it's endless magic cup again, we're switching back. All right. All right, you have three, so there's hope. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna bug bite. If I bug bite, it'll be like double speed. I'm suspicious. I, I don't. I don't think this is another magic card, motherfucker. I, th I think something's up. Yeah, something's definitely up. Well, I know who I need to kill. It's some dude who looks like a beggar, but it's apparently a Paris or a priest. Wait, All right. we're not talking about the advisor, right? Like, who, who are we? What the fuck are you talking about? Shit. Why don't you have any berries? If you had a berry, I'd eat it. It'd be awesome. Come on. Come on, to the torn. You could have at least had to be exciting and have a magic carp that's like level 10 or level 15, so it has to tackle. But no. No. Just had to pick the dude to the Discord. Fun thing about when we play on console games, I can actually look at Discord or like Google things while. Is that Rasputin? Is that Rob Rob Rasputin? Lover of the Russian Queen? I think they just told you to kill Rasputin. <laughs> that guy's fucked up. <laughs> like, don't don't underestimate that dude. Like, he's not dead until you cut off his head. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't poison him. Don't shoot him. Well, you can shoot him, but like, really shoot him. Well, he does not love me. Well, that's because Rasputin's a dick. I don't know my Russian history that well, but I know he usurped royalty. Which is why Ra Ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen, wasn't long for... I forget the exact thing, so... Oh shit, there's a new... Uh... Fuck yeah, I want to go Viking. He resents my reign. I'm the Ice Queen of... Oh! That checks out. Hey, at least he ain't hitting on you. Name rating services available. You gotta fuck yourself. My name's my name's the best. Give me a damn bike. Give me a damn. Give me a, give me a damn bike. The rightful ruler of the land. <laughs> I'm happy to know the ego has gone straight to your head. <laughs> oh, he's gone to the Galactic Building. Oh shit. Dude, the ego's gone straight to your head of like, yeah, I am the Ogal. Even in chibi form, she's hot. She's the most dangerous person. <laughs> Close enough, Redris. It's good to see you, man. What's your name? Oh, should I do, should I do my Saiya voice? 
not that let's see sire i have the russian accent slightly or german accent okay hello abatharina i'll be sure to remember that name my name is cynthia i am a trainer just like you i've been studying pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity I will murder you. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. My Garchomp will murder you. Try using these. They should help you on your way. What is it? Hot damn. Remember, you can use the hit and move cut from your pocket in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible. That's important to fill up your pocket, that's right? Then then luck should be uh, Zach luck should be with this you, young trainer. <sighs> She's gonna murder me. Who loves me? Who loves me? None of you love me. Oh, that's right. You gotta, you gotta beat the gym. You gotta beat the gym uh. Herb shop. Give me drugs. I don't want your drugs. No. Let's see. Uh, all he does is swing maces on fire. I just freeze people who want to talk to me when they're halfway up the throne. Walk with them. <laughs> hey, except whoa. There's some Ryan the Pokemon statue. Dia, once cre- Uh, cause Palkuti. Once created, brought time into being. In laughter and tears, the same time flows. Such is the blessing of Dia. The Texas- Dia! The Texas Bear Ledge was fake. But in places. You have your snot on kid? Anyway. Alright, so is this cyclic road? Anyway. Uh, that's cute. Let's see, but um, I I'll admit I haven't I haven't met Rasputin yet. I I haven't gotten far enough. I've been like, my whole shtick in War Hammer was deal with China, and then figure out what the fuck I was doing and what was going on. And I was not making good progress. I can tell you that I was not doing so hot. <laughs> Yeah, I think now it's time for us to take on the second gym, possibly. What do you want? Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Ron's assistant, Lucas's father. I forgot who you were. I've come a long way at the best of Professor to help you on your adventure. Let me ask, how many Pokemon have you met? But, uh, oh, I need a bite to. Fuck out. Wait, hold on. What, what level is. How much experience do you have? I should I should level him up legitimately. I should level him up legitimately. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Fuck you. Alright. Gar uh, Gardenia, the hot one. At my gym, no one gets a battle with the gym leader, me, until he's beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. That's what I was planning on. You some nice ass boss, too. Alright, where the fuck are you, bitches? I see special looking trees here, motherfucker. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Where the f where the fuck are I? <laughs> oh, there's one. I'm just running around with like a lo I'm just running around with like a loaded gun. Just like where the fuck are I? <laughs> As the sun's coming down, apparently. Jeremy. Okay. Oh, they're lights. Oh, that's adorable. That that's that's Q's buttons. I'm gonna eat you. I am quite literally going to eat you. All my moves involve eating you. That's... That's... You... You do... You do... You, you, you do that. 
Don't you do that. Bye bye. There you go. Alright, is enough to evolve? Uh, it's a start. Okay. Okay. Sorry, for some reason, in my head, when I saw Rosalia, I was thinking Rosa Raid. It was just like, oh, oh. This is fine. This is fine. Bitch. See, as long as there's an ability that I want to say Rosalia can have. Oh, shit. That, that could actually be a problem. Oh, shit. I think it could actually be bad. This is a little bit of a scary strategy. Just gonna have to... Yeah, it looks like it might be a bit of a trek, but I should be able to... Outpower. Damn it. Okay, now, now, now I just need to switch out. Yeah, now, now I need to switch out. Seated in a bad situation. Oh shit! Oh yeah, little faith in him. But uh, sorry, didn't ask. Red Rust, how's it going, man? How how's? Oh. How 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 was how was your day? How was your day, been? Suck it, Rosalia. Oh, that is so close. That is so close. I was going to beat you while you were still in a state of shock. Uh, is that the end? Pass the two boulders, I think. All right, cool. Thanks, appreciate it. Let me just grab the Pokemon. Got some Monday. <laughs> oh, whoa! Hey, I just realized. Tulatorn is pink now. It has ring doors. Oh, that's so cute. Unfortunately, since Tulatorn's a male, it doesn't make a difference. But still, that's really cute. And I, I totally get that. My craft type Pokemon. Yeah, not gonna lie, lie for me today. Work was pretty damn lazy. Like nothing happened at work today, so I'm sitting there like almost falling asleep at my desk. You know, part of my brain wishing something would break, but the other part of me was like, this is fine. I'm just gonna keep wiring to my home computer and to fall out. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Isn't today actually like a holiday or something? Or something? Because I remember, um, remember my, I remember girlfriend Megan was like, oh, she was like, you know, oh, I get the day off. I fell asleep around noon. Wait, you fell asleep? Oh, like a nap. Okay. I was gonna say, like, oh. What? <laughs> like, you pulled an all nighter? Jeez. So nice. Sounds like a good day. Almost there, Tula Torn. I think after this, I think after this trainer. I think after this trainer, if we could like keep you in the fight for as long as possible. Oh, you just crashed. Oh man. <laughs> Jeez. Still, sounds like a good day. But you use rest? You use rest for you, bitch? I'm gonna beat you! And you're right back to where you were before, so I really, really hope you got. Uh. I remember when I said that you were a bitch for using rest. You have sleep talk. Oh my goodness. Please, please shed skin. 
Thank you. Oh, God. Okay, come on, you can do it. Oh, yeah. Every time I see him do, every time I see him use sleep talk, like there's a part of my brain that's like genuinely intimidated. Probably because I once saw a strategy. Probably because I once saw a strategy that was like Snorlax with like rest and sleep talk, and then I think it was like, um, off the top of my head, I want to say it was like Mega Punch and Earthquake or some shit like that. It was scary as I'll get out. Back. Jack. Just a little. Oh, oh god. It's so good. I cleaned out about eight covers of glass crystal on another place. Jeez. That's right, your house is going up on the market a month or two. Selling as is, have a bunch of power plants that got either put out for free or find a home. Oh. What's that to hear? I get that, though, that's a lot of work. But I'm glad to hear that that process is going well. I didn't want to pry too much into it because you got personal, but I'm glad to hear it's going well. There you go. That is such a good ability. There we go. Yeah, great string shot. Woo. The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. That's why I have this ugly ass flower that just won't leave me alone. I call it Tulatorn. Yeah, she had like five pressure cookers still in the oat. What do you think it was a case of like, I should, like a bunch of people got her the same gift or a bunch of people, like I should buy a pressure cooker. Buys one, forgets about it. I should buy a pressure cooker. <laughs> Rinse her peak out of a deal. Oh, that's sad. Like it's funny that there's five that's sad to hear because it probably is. Also, my green screen flipping out it loves the neck let's see they're from the 80s but different companies yeah Ooh. it loves the nectar of flowers and steals nectar collected by combi quiver dance you mean one of the best stat raising moves in the game that too yeah yeah hopefully hopefully you get a good deal uh in the middle of three trees yeah it's cute whatever we got ourselves. Bajillion? I assume you mean Bajillion. Bajillion is the only reasonable estimate as far as I'm concerned. Nice. Now, uh, <laughs> 1. 1.4 nickels. Oh, 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 oh. What's that, Binge? Even when you try to conceal, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. Well, now we're in this back alley. Back here. Let's see, just know I'm not that guy, Chuck, where you would have a 12 month sub going right now. Boy, what a guilt trip you had to do in that. I'm giving you shit. That is 1.4 nickels. I, I, I would never ask that of you. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, if if I remember correctly. God, what the... So now I'm like, I, I'll admit, I don't know house pricing very well, but I'm sitting here with like location and everything. Is that good? Is that bad? But, um. So, okay, yeah. It's location, 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 right? Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. You found me. Of course I'll battle you. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, oh, yo, the house is... The house is worth so much. 
how much you have to pay a month for it. Some insane amount kind of a deal. I bet it's a nice place, but... Poison, that's right, so Gust. Gust should work great. Oop. What was I saying earlier? Oh! If I remember correctly, Combi evolves at level 20. So, hopefully, we're gonna get the Vespa Queen on the table, too, and that's gonna be really nice. Which actually, once we get a Vespa Queen. Oh, I think about it. No one else will evolve. Like, that'll just be... That'll just be our team. At the end of time. At the end of the cool. Have you found a... Have you found a good enough place yet? No, obviously, don't need to share personal information. But, um, found a good place that you're gonna go to? On farm rank, which has extra billion bins, they just sell the house one more. Jeez. Uh, oh, that is rough. That is rough. I just, as, blah. On the upside, it's just the rose of the Damn it. about Hawaii. That's right, yes, I apologize. Why is it gonna be just as expensive, if not more? <laughs> nah, it could be totally this way. That's right, you were talking about being a, I don't know if nanny is the right word, but a similar role in that. That's right, I remember talking about that. I apologize. For a second, I thought it would be just enough that Seth Rosalia lived. That. <gasps> ah, boo, look, you, look, you beat me, whatever, fucking. Ah, damn it! Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm Googling it. I'm Googling it. Oh, it's level 21. Max, that wasn't worth it. Max, that it was ill-advised to use rare candy at this time. Shut up, I'm getting a friggin' Vespa Queen. Uh... No, it'd be rent free for Turkey. I was just gonna put food probably in that food season while I go with drinking that all the time. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Good, yeah. I feel the options would be the dream, but I'm not worried. This clue with the spare house I'd be staying. <laughs> no big deal. Motherfucking Vespa Queen. Its abdomen is honeycomb is a honeycomb for grubs. That's weird. It raises its grubs on nectar collected by combi. It's fucking four feet tall. Yes, I would love it if you learned slash. Get that. F Wait, hold on. Are you attack or spell? Yeah, kind of know. Um. Let's get rid of sweet scent. Sweet scent isn't too necessary. There you go. When you said grubs, I heard drugs. It puts its drugs in its abdomen. It smuggles them on the plane. Let's see, uh... That was good to have backups, nothing wrong with that. Uh, um... That would be really nice, though, if I contacted you. Love to go to Hawaii. Obviously, you'd be living there, but love to visit Hawaii. Oh, oop, wrong. No, oh, let me just go there. Where the... Yep, that, that's our full team. Sure, we have three bug flyings, but fuck, it's fine, probably. All right, burp. I should look at the TMs, though, see if there's any other. Okay, so work up. Uh-huh. Okay. Stealth Rock. 
bullet seed only only Heracross can learn it a lot of people can learn cut but with like slash and shit there's like no point so I'm not gonna worry about that we let's see well we already got we already got rock tomb and hackle and we do bullet seed just a layer on grass but uh, we're gonna get a bunch of bugs that are gonna learn grass moves anyway so not to worry about it uh, I would lead with Heracross just because of the level difference but I'm actually gonna lead with this there you go do you like that cloud I painted it myself she looks so cheesy you kept me waiting I returned and turned as gym leader, Gartenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch is right in the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have a battle. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yep, I did. That's all good, Redders. Uh, yeah, I... She's so freaking cute. Um, yeah, I, I figured that since we could have like the little the little watch thing That I could just cut it out and, and it would work fine And sure we could hide the little watch thing, but um Yeah, you safeguard you jump in the corner you adorable adorable All right, You you yeah, that's fine. No, I insist I insist use Use the super potion because I have a bullshit combo. It's only gonna get stronger. This is great. Oh my goodness, you have a Turtwig. That's awesome. It's level 19. Don't know why you wouldn't evolve it. Three times stronger Fury Cutter. What's the upward limit on this bitch? Just real, real, just real quick. Real quick, real quick. It's not the end yet. I see you have a bullshit combo. Oh fuck. I see you have a bullshit combo. What do you, oh, this could actually be bad. This could actually be bad. Ah, no. You broke my fury cutter. Ah, oh, how dare you. Health bar just goes out of the bar's boundary. The box is stuck up all the way to the bottom. It's like an um, it's like an Undertale with like the dog goes like above and below the screen, <laughs> kind of a thing. That's just her health bar. Ah, oh, citrus berry. That's what it is. Are you saying something? You think you had me cornered? Look, if I get, that is so cute. I love her. Oh, oh my God, a Cephalon! Dude, down! Ah oh, shit! You killed my bug. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I'll send it him about it. How dare you? It's not like I don't have quite literally five other bugs. Alright, I'm seeing your strategy here. And I don't appreciate it. There you go. Throws his fucking dex your Pokemon. <laughs> Just stabs him. In. There you go. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yes, yeah, sixty ninety five critical hits versus just forty. Yes, please. Fuck yes. Oh, that's good. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? You used one move until I beat your bullshit. <laughs> I might have said before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? No, I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Thank you. You received the fourth badge of a day. Awards appreciated. With the forest badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your Pokedex. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. Uh, that's great, lovely. That's what I care about, because if I remember correctly. Ah. That's not. That's gonna be Mega Train. 
No one can learn grass knot. Who gives a shit? No one on my team can learn grass knot. All right, well, um, well, there you go. They're just for sake of keeping everyone even. All right, we'll go heal, and then we're gonna go bust down the one door. We'll get a bike. Actually, we could go into the forest too, in that one spot that's only accessible by cut. We can do that too. So, might as well do that quick. Yeah. I'm really happy with my bugs. All my bugs make me really happy. Even if this is going to turn into a game again of, of, I think I mentioned this before, but um, the first time, actually, I've only done a bug only playthrough one other time, and it basically was a game of, all right, everyone, all right, everyone do your best. Everyone do your best. And if you're not able to do it, God, I love them. I, I hope Badoof is the, I, I hope Badoof does all of it. But, um, everyone do your butt best. If you can't do it, Heracross will do it. <laughs> You've been doing a run of Wind Waker since 10, 12 years. Really? I guess you're more just joking that, like, you haven't beaten it yet, but, um, just didn't like Wind Waker? Now you're, not your kind of cup of tea or anything? I really like Wind Waker. At first, at first, I was definitely one of the people that was like, ah, I don't know if I really like this. Oh, it's a third place. Uh. But um, I definitely got into Wind Waker. I really enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I played it, though. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. The remaster did some... The main thing I remember about the remaster that was really, really nice was um, they made it so you could get a sale. They made it so you could get a sail that um, would change the wind as you turned. So nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I'll admit, I don't really remember what all happened with the Triforce Gathering thing, though. Because, like, I remember, I remember when I played it originally. It was like you just had to get, like, a shit ton of money for all sorts of maps. And it, like... Uh, yes. I, don't know. I remember it was a bit tedious. Not gonna lie, it was it was tedious, but it also like forced you to explore the world, which was kind of like a, you know, a yang and a yang. You know, on one side it was kind of annoying, but on the other side it, it like made sure you knew where everything was and all that. I, I was I was back and forth. I I don't know if I give a good opinion on that. It's been a while since I played it too. Um. Um. Okay, okay. I was gonna say like I don't I don't remember the fire or stone suit. The arrows I remember. The boots I remember, but I I don't remember the other parts. Not to cut you down in your prime. Don't want to deal with ghosts. Don't want to deal with ghosts. There was no point in it to being in this room. Go, 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 go. I don't even know why we're in this place. We just are. I just thought, I just thought it'd be. I thought it'd be fun. Kind of open for ghosts. Beyond. Beyond this. The quad. But it's a ghost everyone uses. Yeah, it's overdone. Okay, I want, I want different ghosts. Give me a dust skull. Let's see. Meanwhile, Red Rizzy just like, let me tell you the exact location of all items. Huh? Yeah, anyway. Oh, uh, a Wind Waker randomizer? It could be. You found an old gateau? Oh, it's a food item, right? Yeah, whatever, I don't need it. Um, a dread plate? 
We, it shards became this plate. You put the gem plate in your... It's the Arceus piece, right? Like, that's the one for God? If I remember correctly. Sadako! Sadako! Fuck you, Sadako. Piece of shit. You got a flashlight to shine. Nope. See, for me, I, I, for me, I played on the Wii. That was, I think that was probably, it was, I think it was before I went to the military, so that was a while ago. They get mixed up with gathering treasure charts. They would be just fun. Okay, yeah. Well, wasn't there a bunch of Triforce pieces that you had to get treasure charts? I can't sleep in the haunted mansions. Bullshit. I'm gonna look up what that TV is about, though. That TV is something special. Alright, Bulbapedia Static Peak. Uh, okay, Bulbapedia Old Chateau. Chateau. Okay, what's the TV? Uh, occasionally the ghosts of a little girl and butler appear in the rightmost room on the second floor and in the dining hall, respectively. They cannot be interacted with and move by floating. The little girl appears before the player and the poor for the rest of the she randomly appears. And then moves towards the exit, never being seen on the outside. It's only occurring the point of entry to the room because the game loads a different map to find the adventure, and the little girls will currently appear in the map of the fourth room. Tackle and I just got concerned all of a sudden because my girlfriend sent me a thing. Nope, she just sent me a picture of the cat. Okay, so that, that that like that's the reason I have my phone because like in case there's an emergency, that's why I'm like, nope, we're good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nice. I never. I, I got that mask. And I thought it was cool, but I like never wore it because the ad makes you look ugly. But um, Twilight Princess was really good. I enjoyed it. There are some. There are a few things design-wise that I was not the biggest fan of. Oh shit! Beethoven's glowing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you like a little laughter sound. <laughs> oh. oh, his eyes move too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, that got me. Yeah, I, I remember hearing about that, but I don't remember why, like, what the what the point of it was. I guess they just really wanted to make... Oh, no, 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 that, that's what the reason was. In the, um... Oh, his eyes are to the right. Um... They wanted to make it, since most people are right-handed, they, they flipped it over because Link was left-handed on the GameCube, so he was right-handed on the Wii, so it felt like a little closer to life. If I remember correctly, that's what the reason which, on one side was like, kind of odd, but on the other side is like, alright, fine. I think it was the same- Wait, is that Twilight Princess, or was that Skyward Sword? It was like that. A oh, substitute's a sh substitute. I don't get substitute. Like, if you get a free turn to set it up, cool, but like, it's otherwise, like, not worth it. Nope, nope, shit. Sadako. Sadako. That TV has to be something. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanna. Okay, uh. 
The TV is inhabited by a wild Rotom. I knew it. Which comes out exclusively at night to initiate a battle. This requires entry and retain the actual. Oh. Uh, you get a secret key. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So, so after you beat the game, you go back there, you can catch a run on my night, and then, um, and then you get a key that it lets you get to a bunch of appliances so you can change Rotom's from. Uh, that's cool. That, that's, that's cool. And you get attacked by 15 Ghastlies for some ass reason. Motherfucker. Motherfucker, think you're so cool? Think you can have 15 Ghastlies attack me? I'm not just gonna slap the shit. There you go. There you go. Good stuff. I haven't played Wind Waker in so freaking long. Would that be a fun playthrough to do on Twitch? Probably not. Yeah, probably not, just on the grounds of I've played it before. I mean, it's been a long time. But it's probably the same reason I shouldn't do, like, Skyward Sword and stuff like that. Max, didn't you do Skyward Sword forever ago? Uh, no. I don't think that's ever what I did. Nah, yeah, because I played it before on my own. It, it, it would, it would, it wouldn't be good. Yeah. Unless everyone was like, we demand you play Wind Waker. It's like, nah, I'm good. Team Galactic is in the trust of the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. That's great. Well, Team Galactic, are you here to donate your Pokemon? If you're not, then kindly of get off our property. Uh, children's members. But we're the same height. I'm... Bro, TW has gone done it again and made an army just pop up. It's the rogue armies! They just keep showing up! Unless you're talking about the uh, armies coming out of the chaos gates, because, yeah, shit doesn't stop. Like, literally, once you send your, like, that's one thing I figured out. Once, once you have, once you send your lord through one, just close that shit. I know it's like, don't you need to keep it open so he has a way to come back? No, you don't. Just... I'm tempted to restart the game again and like specifically have heroes just to go around and close, and close down those gates for how annoying they can get. But, but, dearie, you're just a kid. And I whooped your ass with the box. We are gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your medley won't be tolerated. I will take all of you on at once. And not in a black leather couch one. That's a terrible joke. <gasps> brother! You too! You too have bugs, brother! Brother! Oop, none of that. None of that. And... <gasps> brother! Oh my goodness, brother. Up oh, and oh, mm. This is awkward. This is just awkward for everyone involved. Yes. Who's this? Thank you for the eight dollars. Oh. Um, going to rant two thousand. How do you feel about? Uh, how do you feel about all the remakes, remasters coming out? Um, all right, so to answer that question, first I want to ask, are we talking about a particular game series? Are we talking about a particular game series? Or are you just saying in general? Yes, yeah, exactly, of what, of what game, of what game? Because I have, I have two differing opinions when it comes to this. I have two different opinions, and it kind of depends on what game you're talking about, or just in general. So I want I want to clarify that before 
before we go, before we go on a, a long rant, because we're just murdering shit at this point, and there's a part of my brain that finds this entertaining, but I also realize I can do a lot of this without really, like, focusing on it. Max may have to hit you should stop playing Pokemon games on Twitch. Eh, hey, well, you know, it's fun. I enjoy it. We're just going around literally- People are at work looking at their desktop background, which clearly means they were looking at porn. Clearly. And I'm just running around and kicking the shit out of them. Just running around and dropping the elbow on their- on their controller. Games in general, let's start with everything more than 20 years old, barring Kingdom Cash Grab- I mean Kingdom Cash Okay, so... My first opinion when it comes to remasters and remakes is the opinion that I have with emulators that any way you can bring games that are older to people nowadays should be encouraged. And if let's say and you know don't get me wrong, I like Kingdom Hearts, but Disney is ridiculous with their pricing. That's actually something I was gonna that's actually something I was gonna bring up. So, um, we love when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. But, um, in any time there's an opportunity for companies to, or any, any time there's an opportunity for more people to be able to play an older game, but it doesn't matter what the game is. Like, obviously, you know, what are people going to care more about, like, Insert whatever movie cop movie cop out was pooped out in a day game or Super Mario 64. Like obviously, which which are people gonna care about more? Obviously, it's gonna be the movie cop out game. But um, I I think like all art, video games should be made as accessible as possible. And obviously, companies need money. Company, you know. If you're gonna re-release a game, you might as well improve on it, you might as well remaster it, you might as well make it pretty. Da, 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 da. Although in my mind, side note, how great would it be if every time a remaster of a game was made, they included a copy of the original? You know, like bring over the control schemes or whatever, but like graphic for can you imagine if bundled with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, you could say, hey, do you wanna play the original? And it would be like the original graphics and everything. That'd be really cool. I'd, I'd really like that. Uh, that's a sidebar. Um, yes, accessibility and bringing games to people is important. That's why I think emulating is okay. As long as it's an old game that no one's putting out for... Oop, that guy's creepy as shit. Right, and that's kind of where that's kind of where the next issue is. You know, okay, so a company is making it so that the games are available to people. Awesome, great, good. That's exactly what I want. I remember when I was looking at the uh, the Wii store for old games, and every single one of them was five bucks. And like when you're buying one or two, that's fine, but that shit adds up fast. If you're gonna keep it the original, it should be kept as cheap as possible or free. Like, that's literally what it should be. It should be kept as cheap as possible. I'm gonna kick the shit out of your Clefairy and your Baneary. Eh, you want some? How silly me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna kick the shit out of your Clefairy and your Baneary. Let's fucking go. You show a leg. You are. You can sit right in Resident Evil. But, um, yeah, it should be made as cheap as possible. Because it should be made as accessible as possible. And, you know, as much as, like, oh, you can only get, you can get this on the, uh, right, and that, that's another thing that should be with it. If you're gonna include the original, you want to remaster shit. Great. Make it so the originals are available. Don't just, like, get rid of it and throw it under the bus and pretend it doesn't exist. Because some people, like, have it in the settings, have it in the archives, have it in something. Kind of a deal. Like, it's important not only to look... It's important to not only have it for sake of a record standpoint, but does guts pop off? Does guts pop off? A 
was really hoping Guts popped up, because that'd be hilarious. Um, it should also be included for a historical standpoint, and also just because some people might be crusty and old like me, and they just want to see what the original looks like. So it should be like a setting, it should be in the archives, it should be a thing, you should have the ability to play the game in its original form. Right? That, that, oh fuck. Oh shit. That's horrifying. I gotta bury two motherfuckers. That's right, bitch. You think your ass is special? Ooh. It ain't. Like, I, I try to look at it from, like, a historical... Oh, shit. From, like, a historical standpoint. That there should be... Yes, you should... Uh, yes, you should... Like, if you want to remaster it, make it pretty, bring it to modern amenities, fine, good. Or, fine, good. But you should have ways that the original is included as well. Wow, my hair looks terrible. The original is included as well for people who just want to play the original. Or make it so that, like, if it's this game... You know, you buy it, you whatever, it's all good and stuff. But, like, have it, like, super cheap on the side, at least. Like, something. Yeah, and there's some really beautiful things from Final Fantasy VI. There's some really beautiful things from Final Fantasy VI. Exactly. Yeah. Now, remasters that, like, um, I think you were telling me about, uh, what was the mod for Final Fantasy VII called, where their only goal was to, like, make it so, like, a lot of the, um, textures were higher resolution. Like, it was the original higher resolution for it. Stuff like that, great, good, wonderful, but it should be a setting. You should be able to change it back to the old, terrible, whatever. Even if you're like, oh, looks like shit. Yeah, yeah. Even if it feels like, oh, it looks terrible. It's still cool to see it. We still might want to see it. It shows a lot of love for the game. And with the pricing also in mind, okay, so how much was Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, right? And I'm enjoying playing this. Okay, I want that to say it for the record. I played Platinum, but I never played Diamond or Pearl. Um, uh, the pyramid of the become the whatever. Uh, uh, right, cool. But, um, well, yeah, that's what it should be. Like, I love that shit where they're just like. Yeah, like, do the minor little updates that you have to do just to make it so it works on a different console or with different controls or whatever. Maybe add a few more settings. Throw it out there. If you want to update it, fine, but try not to touch it as much as possible. Try to keep it to its original. And now, okay, let's take full-on remasters. So this game is a remaster. Er, ow. That's knocked my knuckle. Holy shit, thief. Yeah, exactly. But, um, okay, Max, what's a remaster versus a remake? Uh, remaster is only graphical. Remake is where they build it from the ground up and they update the gameplay or whatever. Uh, debatable. In my mind, if a game is simply just the same game again, but a new coat of paint, and even if they add a few features, like, they're not, okay, let's compare, like, let's compare Pokemon Brilliant Diamond to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Seventh Heaven, that was called Seventh Heaven. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of earlier. But um let's compare Brilliant Diamond here to Final Fantasy Seven Remake, right? Alright, just your bike. Take that shit, I guess. I don't think wearing sandals with the bike is a good idea, but whatever. I want a green bike! Give it to me. No, I think I think it is a fair comparison. Yes. I'm not saying they're equal, but let's compare them, right? No, no, no. Let's let, let's compare them for a little bit, right? Uh. Wow, that bright light of God. What? <laughs> so fucking fast. <sighs> okay, so. Um. Okay, fine. Whatever. Fuck it. Fine. 
man extra there. But okay, so let's compare the two in just a general sense. We're not necessarily saying they're equal. We're not necessarily trying to like say which one's better. But let's just compare them for a second. Actually, what you just said, you just stole my thunder. Fuck you. Nah, I'm kidding. So, the Final Fantasy VII Remake... Uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake is, let's be honest... Huh? Wait, what? They're, they're letting me go into the... They're letting me go into the Grand Underground. Isn't that where the... No, get, get, hey, 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 hey. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away. Oh my goodness, it flies. I, I didn't pay attention. Is there like a quick way to use the bike? Is there like a quick way to use the bike? Yeah, whatever. Um... What was, I, what was I saying earlier? I already forgot. Uh, that, that's actually a good... Yeah, yeah. Sh shouldn't I be able to hockey it? Uh, oops, uh, favorite. Register it. Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Wait, what? Wait, how did I just do that? Press the bit button to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, fuck, fuck. But, um, what was I just saying earlier? Okay, so let so looking at the Final Fantasy VII remake, right? Um, that game, let's be honest, as much as it's taking the same story, wow, as much as it's taking the same story as the original Final Fantasy VII, right? That is very much its own game. It is its own game. It's its own everything. It has its own lifeblood. It has its own thing going on. It references the original story, but it very quickly goes on its own tangent. And that's okay. That's a fine thing. I would consider that a remake. While this game is a remaster, for the most part, to my knowledge... Yeah, I don't, obviously, I don't know this game perfectly. I don't know this game perfectly between the original and whatever. For the most part... So is this part? For the most part... This is the same game. Just straight up. It is... It is... Oh, get, get away from me. It is the same game. So... And you're right. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is only one point. Uh, no, I didn't, but that's dope. Oh, shit! Look at him. So I guess this is just the land of Pokemon from different generations. I should... I should... See if we can get any other bugs that I'm interested in. Is it butter for your bee draw? Um, okay, uh, But, um...
Okay, okay. I'm not immediately gonna list them. Fuck them. I'm not gonna worry about it. But, um... Final Fantasy VII Remake, as much as it's only one part of, like, a full game being remade and everything, right? It's still very much a full and complete game, I would say. And, yeah, they're adding more and more onto it, which is great. That was awful. I never want to do that again. What is that? Never talk to me again. But, um... It's very much its own game. Now, with that in mind, let's just ask ourselves as a consumer, how much should Pokemon Brilliant Diamond cost? Just generally. How much... How much should it cost? Versus... Versus... How much should Final Fantasy VII Remake cost? You have something, they're both taking old games and rebuilding them in a certain way, right? But one is rebuilding this completely from the ground up in all sorts of different ways, mechanics, adding all sorts of shit, versus the other one, which, yeah, just like you said, is just a graphical overhaul. This is effectively the same ass game, and maybe they add some things, maybe the Grand Underground, maybe I don't know. Right? Maybe they add a bunch of stuff. Good for them, right? But... Don't... Damn it. I was gonna say, don't you... Versus... A brand new game. Sure. It's a, it's a game from before. But it's still... A brand new game. Which should cost more. In my mind... It is completely fair to say... Five Fantasy Seven can be $60 and it's totally fine. How much should Pokemon be? $30. $20. Cheaper. Because it's effectively just a new coat of paint. So that, I think, the, the other issue that I have with um, remakes and the like, and the other issue I have with remakes and remasters and the like, and who do call it? Final Fantasy VII doesn't have this problem, so don't include them in this in this idea that I'm having. But, um... Pokemon does, okay? Pokemon has this issue majorly. It's worth asking the question, what is being added? Right, in play, right, yeah, I used to be about 70. Right, so I, I guess I shouldn't say any particular number. I should instead just generalize it by saying Math home tech. I should just generalize it by saying it should be cheap. It should be notably cheap Because it's just a fresh cone of paint and not as much work is being put in. Oh, but what about the extra features and things? Okay But still it, it should still be cheaper in that regard. Zergine is leveling up freaking fast. Oh, um, if, if it's nothing changed whatsoever and it's just like straight up an emulator, it should be so much cheaper. So, 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 so. Like, so much cheaper. Like, if I was going to arbitrarily say $60 and it's like, hey, would you like to play the original Nintendo DS or whatever whatever bullshit uh, the original diamond came out in, it's like $5 should be the maximum. And even then, right? Because otherwise, the money is a courtesy because otherwise I'm just gonna emulate it. But, but um, new coat of paint? Okay, half price. Half price, okay, I'll take 60, 70, but half price is where my mind says it should go. Oh, oh, that's right, I forgot it. it this place rolls for that Exactly. Oh, you're saying with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Right, but like, if each chapter is as full as the first one is, then it's basically its own game. So therefore, it's more justifiable, I would, I would argue. But, um... Oh, 
not going to buy seven until they get to the packets. It's gonna be a minute. Um, I had a thought process that I lost it. Um, oh, see, the issue that I have, and I'd say Pokemon is probably the biggest culprit of this, and I know I'm a hypocrite because I'm playing Pokemon right now and I'm feeding into it because I like Pokemon, okay? I, I think Pokemon's dope. I think it's fun. I think it's a good game to stream because it's very easy for me just to do shit while talking to the audience, okay? Like, I I think it's silly and fun, and I like doing those lucks, okay? Sue me. Um, keep boulders. Focus energy freaking sucks. Do you see that look on her face? It's like, I'm gonna strangle you. That was like the inscription hands reaching for my throat. Um... So, I would argue something that Pokemon has been convicted for, and a lot of people have said this, is that, add to the back luck, is that in a lot of ways the formula for Pokemon has not changed. And with different games, they add one or two mechanics, and they come up with a bunch of Pokemon, which, don't get me wrong, is a lot of work. And as the generations have gone on, more and more work has been put into the Pokemon, okay? I don't want anyone to sit here and say, oh, Max is shitting on Pokemon saying it's easy. Why don't you make 150 Pokemon, Max? No, that would be really hard. Okay, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it's easy to do it. But you can look at it in a general standpoint of, like, how the game has changed and evolved and say... Maybe not the most has changed. Oh, when they jumped from like splitting up physical and special, when they add more types, when they um, sure make like or uh, items that can be held, right? Mega evolution, okay, but it's a tad situational. Uh, same with the Gigantamaxing, same with Z moves, same with those kinds of things, right? Yep, you didn't mention picks them up, but um. You know, arguments can be made. I need to, I need to switch to, I need to switch to, heck yeah. I missed you. But, um, okay. But in a lot of ways, like the formula, the story, the whatever, you could argue for Pokemon has not changed that drastically, which is why I really want to pay, play uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus because it's changing the formula. Now, maybe it's not, okay? Maybe it's, maybe I'm gonna play it and discover, oh, it is just go do eight more gyms or whatever, right? Maybe, I don't know. But because they're trying something new, because they're trying something new and different, that should be encouraged even if it fails even if it horribly does awful and it like just falls in a ditch like it, like it falls in a ditch and no one likes it whatsoever it should be commended because it's trying new things it's a problem when a game it gets really when a game series gets very comfortable doing the same thing over and over and over again i'm sure we can all think of like different series that do that and you know there's there's a lot to be said for... There you go. There's a lot to be said for finding what you're good at and doing, right? There's a lot to be said for that, but... I, I, I'll admit I haven't played it. The only Paper Mario I played, one I played was the one on the Wii, and eh, I thought it was all right. I thought it was good. But, um... I don't think it was a turn-based whatever. But I've heard things about it. I don't know if they're good things. But, heard it. but anyways, um... Fuck you for avoiding that attack. But, um... What was I saying? Even if a game... Even if an idea for a game absolutely tanks and no one likes it, it should always be encouraged. And there's a lot to be said for a game series not being able to try new things or grow. In general. There's a lot to be said for that. And I feel like in a lot of ways... Pokemon has been in in a rut in a lot of different ways and even to add to that more it's 
the fact that like with every generation we expect however many generations back to poop a remake of it and we don't expect anything out of the game other than other than a fresh coat of paint i think kind of speaks to that and oh my goodness fuck off for dodge but i think kind of speaks for that and if anything kind of encouraged it's like the thing of how do we stop encouraging certain behavior while you stop buying it well i bought this so clearly i'm encouraging bad behavior okay i'm a little bit of a hypocrite in that regard so i will completely own that because i like pokemon okay i'm sorry i do but um and sure they add like the new updates for like the different move sets and abilities and types or whatever but fundamentally the game's the same okay fundamentally I just fed into it because it's the hot new whatever, so Max is a streamer wants to play it. Quit reaching for my throat. So, you know, I'm I'm at fault. I'm at fault as well. But I think like as a company, or like as a consumer looking at the company, I would want to encourage them doing and trying new and different things. I have no idea. In this game, no clue. Oh wait, oh you mean in general? That's the other problem that comes, like, okay, trying new things, right? Just like we talked about before, should always be encouraged. But is it always such, there's a debate there. Is it always such a good idea to then, if they don't work the way you like, do you throw them away? Or if they don't work the way you like, do you... Well, right, that, that, that's what I mean. That's the debate. Like, okay, so they did... Let's just let's just make up an example, right? Z-moves, okay? I don't think anyone... I'm sure people like Z-moves, but I personally didn't. And then they got rid of them. Well... Do we insist on adding them into every game now? Or do we just leave it to that game specifically? Same with Mega Evolution, same with Gigantamax, Max, the same with whatever. And depending on the game, you know, they, like, have it included in the story, which is great. Um, holy shit. Uh, we have enough Pokemon that know Gus. I'm comfortable with letting you know Sack. Doesn't get rid of me, right? Yeah. But I'm comfortable with getting rid of Gus in the future. But, um. How, like. Z moves are in Pixelmon along with Mega Zion. The limitations can't use all of them at the same time to do a part. Exactly! Like, what can you take away and what can you not? What can you keep as part of the setting? Burp, and what can you not? What can you... Yeah, it's... You know, there's a lot back and forth, right? There's a lot back and forth, and it's it's hard. Right. You know, should every piece of content be in the series? There's arguments for no, but there's arguments for yes. It's difficult. Okay, and I'm not gonna pretend that's. I'm not gonna pretend it's an easy thing. No, no. Well, I'm not gonna pretend it's an easy thing making those kinds of decisions. I mean, it's the thing with Sword and Shield, and everyone complaining that, like, oh my goodness, they're not including every single Pokemon. To a certain extent, there's just too many of the bastards, alright? How do you keep track of all of it? Is kind of the question that comes up. So, with remakes and remasters, should we be satisfied with, like, should we be satisfied with, um, should we be satisfied with just a new coat of paint? Should we expect every amenity that, uh, that the newer Pokemon games have, every comfort, every whatever? Or should we, or should it be as rigid to the original as possible? For example, in Sword and Shield, they had a person in every Pokemon Center that could relearn all your moves. I fucking loved that. I thought that was amazing. They, you had that right from the get-go, so if you chose the wrong move or discovered you hated a move, there was zero consequence. That's not a thing here. Should I demand it here? But it's not what the original had. It's... Yeah. Some ends up being redundant, yeah, maybe some of the name helps don't need it, but it'd be nice if we had a main game that had every Pokemon up to this gen, all prior regions. We have enough content right now, we don't need any new areas, Pokemon, I'm a new store. I think that's that's part of the reason I'm so excited about okay, I, I say so excited, but like I'm not obviously I'm not like jumping up. Oh, 
I say excited, but obviously you, you don't see me sitting here like jumping up and down with glee about it. It's why I think Legends Arceus should be encouraged because it's not only new, but they're not like endlessly creating new Pokemon just to make it feel special. Yes, I know there's, re there's region variants, but that's fine. Like that's reasonable, but they're not like making an entire new generation just for it. You know what I mean? Um, now making a game that had every single, every single region you could travel between them, that shit would be wild. And I have no idea how in the world you'd balance it. Especially with by the end of one region, you're like level 60 or whatever. So like having eight or nine or however many bullshit regions, that would be rough. But an attempt made towards it or like a way so that you could choose which reason, region to start in and then every other region gets harder. So that way you could have like speedrunners be like, it's optimal for you to start in the gen four region. Yeah, make it, make it open world. There's, there's a lot of ways to go. Uh, there's a lot of ways to go with that and ultimately i think what it comes down to with me and remakes and remasters just to, just to like try to put a main point on it is i want games to be as accessible to people as possible whether you want to consider that being just bringing it to newer consoles whether you want to consider that being like difficulty curves whatever right make it as accessible actually no difficulty curves that's a different that's a different discussion that we're not gonna worry about so ignore that um oh shit. Ugh. Well, that's okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna heal off Mega Drain. So it's fine. But, um. Make it so as many people can get a game as possible. I think it's really important. You know, if older games are real hard adding a difficulty setting, that's fine. It's cool. I'm cool with that, personally. But, um. A game should be made as accessible as possible to as many people as possible, whether it's by uh, whether like by platform or by cost, right? But the original should still be maintained, and the original should still be brought forward for people to have. If you are going to change the game, if you're going to add just a fresh coat of paint and call it a day. That needs to be reflected in the price, and that needs to be reflected with, like, how it's advertised to people. Yeah, sometimes you just want to play an easier game. That's something I've kind of learned over time, that I used to be, like, everything... Fuck off! I used to be, like, everything must be as hard as possible all the time, and then I just kind of realized, like, you know... It's fine. It's fine for it to be easier. That's personal. Um, I'm going to keep running away from these guys, because Beautifly is not set up to take on Zubats. Fuck! Okay, it's not. It's, it's different. It's different. Fuck off! But, um. If it's a remaster, that needs to be. Or, sorry, yeah, if it's a remaster and all it is is a fresh coat of paint. A serious discussion needs to be had about whether or not how many amenities should, oh that's really good, how many amenities should or should not be added to the game. And how many modern, modern sensibilities, if you will, should or shouldn't be added to the game. I will go this whole fucking cave in the dark, watch me mother, oh gee, okay, maybe I can you know, that discussion should be had. Okay, this cave's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Alright, okay, I need to leave. I need to get out. Oh, shit! Holy shit, a bronzor! Look at you! Aren't you just a beauty? I'm gonna run. But, um... That discussion should be had, and it should be reflected in the advertising and in the cost of it. A game that's just a new coat of paint should be cheaper. Uh, or, like, if the game is like, it's a new coat of paint and a bundle. Make sure the original is preserved, preser preferably also incredibly accessible, whether by price or by separate product or included in the product. And then make it so the price reflects it. 
so that way people don't feel like they have to pay full price for a remake of the same game 15 times. Because there's only so much goodwill people have for that kind of shit. Well, look at you. And then on the other side, if you do a full, or sorry, that is full remasters, for a full remake where the game is entirely new and different and unique, you better put all you can into that game to make it feel unique and new and different and special. And then you can have it be its own game and have its own spirit and have its own like ideas and concepts and like things it works on. And that's fine, but it should ultimately be remembered that you should never... Oh. Who the fuck are you? Hey, Abathrina, how's your Pokedex? I'm doing it as always. Not. That's not important. What? Lately, I've been experiencing a couple of neat tools. I'll share with you, Abathrina. Choose a hand. Right. If you want the Versus Seeker, you know what's important. Right. Sure. Want to battle with you again? And what about Pokedex? Do you have one? Yep, you do. You have this too, then. Leave me alone. Uh... I don't like you. Oh, that's what you thought. This game is trying to get me to do all sorts of new and different new things, and I just want to kill shit with my bugs. Um. Okay. Oh, that, that, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Remakes. Uh, remakes. If you build the game from the ground up and you radically change it, and all you're doing is taking the old story, the old characters everyone loves, and growing upon it, adding more to it. That's fine, but it should never be done as a replacement for coming up with new ideas. That's like, sequels are a fine and beautiful and wonderful thing, but I remember hearing it once from a reviewer called uh, Yahtzee Crenshaw, I might be saying the name wrong, Zero Punctuation, of, he, he just took a moment to say, imagine, imagine a world where there was no such things as sequels, where once an idea was made, it was made, right? Sure, you would lose out on a lot of fantastic sequels. And sure, you could start arguing a lot of games are like, hey, that's just like this. It's a spiritual successor or whatever, right? But think of how it would force everyone to be creative. Know what I mean? Think of like how it would force ever. Oh, hey, there, there's a forward. Think of the ways that it would force people to come up with new ideas and new concepts for games. So if you want to do a remaster, if you want to do a remake, that's fine, but it should never replace new and creative ideas or simply improvements on ideas that have already been done. Make them better and better and better. Not just like in small little tweak ways, but like in major capacities to improve them and to rebalance them. Ra ra Rasputin, lover of the rough and brave. Yes, if I say me, me. Ra ra Rasputin, rough and brave. Have I done the gym here? No, let me look at the case. Let me look at the case. Hey, that one. Oh wait, that that guy with the rock thing that that is here. That is right here. Right. And that's... It's why I was saying with, like, Legend Zarkius that, um, even if it absolutely bombs, trying new ideas should be encouraged. It should always be encouraged. How is any new... How is any new art form in any capacity ever expected to grow or change if it's not allowed to fail. Yes, there's safety in doing established products that people like, but it also carries its own depressing ass risk. Whee! Whoa! Its own its own risk in staleness. Know what I mean? Right, exactly. And sure, like, 
owners of shit change over time, but yeah, that's that is sad. To just have him be thrown to the side. No, that's a depression right there. You just gave me the big depression. I know it wasn't depressed. Um, does Eric cut hit both of you? It does. Y'all can y'all can fuck yourself. Alright, rock tomb that Ponita because Ponita's gonna be the problem child. So dang. Actually, they're both common children in a major capacity. Oh, God, let's speed it up. Ah, shit. Ah, ass. Wow. All right, well, it's okay. Okay, hold on. Um, so, the morning sun, only heal yourself, right? Air cutter them both. Or rock tomb. Uh, Nobu will not, uh, let's see, he will be just helping that huge amount of these rounds, but I'll be back to mid. I mean, people are allowed to come and go. Hey, it makes sense. But, um... Anyways, that was my rant. I think I went for, like, a 30 minutes there. <laughs> I hope that was worth your not... not bits. Pixels. <laughs> Holy shit! My butterfly! You killed my butterfly, you... I, I I hope I hope that was a good discussion, and I hope I didn't just say things that like, well, duh, Max, everyone knows that, or um, yeah, you know, I, I hope I gave some unique insight into my mindset or what I believe games should be, and if I come to power and I either produce or make games, how I think they should be treated. The companies have made a lot of these games to have a lot of the original staff is on again. Uh, fresh ideas we welcome these companies, but I just hope the spirit of them is lost time is how I feel. That's also fair. That is a completely fair concern. Oh my gosh, you want a confusion? Fuck yeah. Get rid of string shot. String shot's bullshit. No, I'm like string shot. Yeah, get that confusion, boy. Oh, fuck yeah. In my mind though, okay, so you say like... Feels outside is affecting the user's party. Sure. Um It see that's another that's another spot that's like a little a little odd back and forth. Like on one side. The spirit of the original should be kept. All right, that's fair. But it should also be allowed to grow. Hmm. So I'm I'm back and forth on that. There's a part of my brain that's like... There's a part of my brain that's like, yes, the original ideals and the original concept should be kept, but it should be allowed to grow from it or it should be honored. You know what I mean? Not just like thrown to the side of like, whatever, we're too... We're, 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 no, nobody likes turn-based combat anymore. Like... Whatever cool kids' voices are, you know what I mean? That's fair. Yeah, I, I can accept that. Like, unless unless you're fully doing a remake, do not tamper with the original. That's that I can That I can accept. That that I can accept. Anyways, blah blah blah. I feel like I talked a lot. Oh shit, what have I done? I feel like I talked a lot and maybe said things that were dumb or could have said things better. I'm okay to continue this conversation. I just recognize I've been going for a minute. So, that's why I'm like, ah, okay, take, take, Max, take a step back. Max, take a step back. Do we need to continue this conversation? <laughs> like, we'll sit on it. You know what I mean? I, was it a sufficient rant? I hope it was. I don't know if it was or not. Don't, don't lie to me if it wasn't. God, I hope that was audible. I'm gonna stun that shit and then switch out to. No one has a direct weakness, or can hit your direct weakness, sounds good. 
I deal with that shit. Oh, oh, that's another. Okay, that that is. Give me another two thousand bullshit the napkin. Um, so that as a concept. That as a concept. You don't don't do it. Okay, that as a concept. That need that needs to go back into a whole other. That's that, that's bad grammar. Uh, it was pretty explicit. It was still pretty dang explicit. I'd, I'd make arguments. But, um... There probably were things that were... Let's be honest. The, uh... The hand masseuse person? That was also raunchy. Let's, let's not pretend it wasn't. But, um... Goes into the fuck hurt me. Yeah. <clears throat> Apologies. But, um... I think it's good to also have th also have that discussion about, like, okay. Huckleberry Finn. To, uh, to slay a mockingbird. Insert all those books that in the past have things that we as a culture nowadays... Was that that one that I like was listening to and it was like they were calling him his king and it was like a, yeah, it was like a cult almost. And I was like, this is weird and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> That's a fair point. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, you got me there. You look like you're not a happy cute chibi. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It was, <laughs> According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife, but what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of things to be deplorable. Where did you get that gun? I right, fine, I guess I'll just let you pass for me, so. Yeah, be the way. Dick. But, um... Okay, so here's the question. Here's the question that comes with that, right? So something in the past, for whatever reason, you can make up a reason, has something that might not sit well with people nowadays, okay? Like I said, it doesn't matter the reason, just just take that premise, right? Just take that premise and run with it. Should it be censored and or changed for the modern era? There's arguments for yes, and there's arguments for no. Now, you, you'd say no. Now, when it comes to like books and things like that, my first instinct is to vehemently say no. Because for example, Huckleberry Finn, Mark Twain works, anything from that time period, to slay a mockingbird, exact, it, should, like, it should not be done for I believe the term that I heard before was like, in respect for the material that it originally was and for the artist's original intentions, they should be kept as is. Disclaimers are fine. The disclaimers are fine, it's just like, yo, know, even if I, say, if, if I say what I'm referencing by saying to kill a mockingbird, um, it, the auto whatever's on Twitch might kill me, so I'm not gonna say it. But um, it's important to have those stories because that's what the time was like. Even if it's a, even if it's offensive by today's standards, having those is still important. But let's go to the other round. Let's switch this around. Remasters and remakes, right? Let's pretend there's a joke that they want to keep or they want to add to because it didn't quite land right. Or maybe it just wasn't done very well and it wasn't done in good taste. Now, what's the line between censorship and, and eh, we could do better with that joke? Lost in Translation is another perfect example of like, here's a joke we're trying to get across, 
It's not quite landing right. Where does the line fall between censorship and that? And I think that's a case-by-case -case basis. You know, do like um okay, let's let's take an example, a famous one in Pokemon. Uh I forget which game, I wanna say crystal. An old man blocks a path because he's drunk. The like uh, the translated in a to the you know, to the West was oh he's sleeping and he needs his coffee. In the original, he was drunk. He was one hundred percent drunk. And a lot oh the, a lot of that comes down to Okay, maybe it was yellow. I, I'm, I could be misremembering, like, I, fi fi I'm fi firing from the hip here, man. <laughs> Maybe? Uh, firing from the hip. But, um, you, you, I'm, I'm willing to bet you're right. But, um, a lot of that, yeah, a lot of that can come down to cultural differences between how certain countries view things. A uh, famous thing it, with anime is that there's a large amount of fan service, or just generally that the, how the Japanese view sex, nudity, and whatever is different from how Americans view it. Now here's the question. Should those things be changed for American audiences because maybe the joke didn't land right, or damn Joe, well, don't say much until just to come here and shit He just, hand, he just handed me that one ghost dark Pokemon. So that's cool. Uh, I'm just gonna... Switch in. Ah, shit, bears. Okay, so... Because the Japanese... Have... We can just say it like this. Have more of a sense of humor when it comes to sex and the like. Should that be changed for American audiences because maybe mom doesn't want little Jimmy to be playing a game where there are straight up the dancers for strippers? Where someone's getting drunk, where someone's getting whatever. It's my opinion that... Well, it's my opinion that if there's like a rating system, like an ESRB, maybe have it included in that. But there needs to be something to... I don't know, I don't know what the best way to say this or describe it to people would be, but to say, hey, take in recognition that this is their culture, or this is something that is a product of their culture and a product. Yeah, that one, exactly. Yeah, that one, yeah. But, um, that it's a product of their culture or it's a product of their time. I was sick three days, man. A product of their culture, a product of their time, and should be respected as such. They're respecting as such. But should it be changed for American audiences? My first instinct is to. S My first instinct is to say no! Let it be as they originally intended. Just have like a warning for it. You know what I mean? And have parents who are actually willing to look at that shit. I feel like nowadays parents are a lot better about that. I feel like, and I could be totally wrong, but if I had to make up a reason for it, it's just because like, obviously we can talk like however many different generations back, but like you have a generation that like doesn't know video games at all versus a generation that has played video games and has like an understanding of it. There's a bit more of like a, oh, you know, this is fine, this is kind of a thing. I don't have to be totally wrong about that. Um, Yeah, like, I, I remember hearing about that a lot, where, like, it's more like they don't care anymore. They're just like, eh, fuck. Let's it. But, um, yeah, having to censor things for different countries, I don't think is a good thing. I think it should be treated as, like, hey, this is a product from that country of its culture and of its people and should be respected as such. Now, but Max, if you let countries poop, to th poop products to other countries without editing them and just have disclaimers that it's from their country, propaganda could be a thing. 
Yeah, it was propaganda regardless. So, mm. Now they nerfed the engineer's booba and dressed her up a little bit and finally because too many people complained. See, I'm... I'm of the opinion of artist... Like, it's artistic opinion. So it should be left as such. What the heck? <laughs> Talk about Grand Theft Auto? So, yeah, my first instinct is like, with remakes, those jokes, those old censors, they should be preserved in the original as much as possible. But if, you know, but if in a remaster, if they want to try to make the joke land better, or if they just realize it's still time to take it away, it's fine to take it away for sake of comedy and for sake of like, okay, how can we make the joke better, but not for sake of, like, it should never be done for the sake of, oh, we're gonna censor it because we don't want people to know that back in the day people said the n-word. Well, I'm sorry people back in the day said the n-word, okay? Doesn't mean you should relish in it. We can take this moment to recognize it's bad, but it's still something that happened and it shouldn't act like it should never happen. I'm double standing for something fun, so people can say it, so people can't. But with jokes with different countries, it should be... Oh, speakers. I don't know what that is. Um... But with jokes from different cultures and stuff, those should be preserved as a way to celebrate each other's culture and to understand each other's sense of humor. You know, we hear that, like, British, pe or British people have a drier sense of humor, and nothing in the world is wrong with that. I'm not doing those contests. Okay, I might do one. Um, if someone's going to battle me, I better get healed first. Dinner. Oh. Oh. Sorry. But, um... Uh... I don't want to do the contest. I, I never like doing the contest hall. So, I'm good. Holy shit, is that a baby? Have we ever seen a flat-out baby in a Pokemon game? I don't think we have! Well, it was probably in the original, too, but... But, um... Generally speaking, censorship bad. <laughs> like, Max, you Max, you completely lost your train of thought, so as a result, you're just gonna try to put a pin in it. You'll put a pin in your thoughts. Generally speaking... Generally speaking, censorship bad. Okay, and... All celebrations and their differences in culture and whatever nonsense, culture and senses of humor and history and whatever should be encouraged. Yeah. If they have that though, I would have a deep, like if it was a setting in a game, default to the original. D like that, that should be a big thing. If it's gonna be so you can like, Right, like if it's gonna be modded, if it's gonna be modded, make it so that um, so that everyone's aware of it. But by the same token, the original should be default. That I can, I can, I can get by that. Yeah, that, like that's that's the problem. Like acting like it doesn't exist. It's sure. Okay, I don't want it. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna take this egg because I suspect. How much you want to bet it's for like a legendary or some shit? Max legendaries aren't in eggs except for like two. Yeah, an egg. Exactly, it's. Um. What's the phrase? There's multiple kinds of censorship, and one of the kinds of censorship is silence. You know, not necessarily about what you do say, but what you don't say it could be just as dangerous. And to make things go away silently can be a lot scarier and that's how I recognize them. Uh, it can be a lot scarier than outright saying anything against it. It's more sinister, it's creeping in nature. And it's it, it, it bad. It bad. I wanna go to church. 
That's... Thank you. Which one's Jeebus? Where's Jeebus? Give me Pokemon Jeebus. Uh. Alright, so let's go to another question that just popped up right here. Like, okay, we're gonna talk about, like, they were complaining about the one engineer girl who everyone thinks is very attractive. Oh, that's the look of someone who's about to shank me. Please excuse me, are you entering a super contest show? Oh, oh, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the hot home gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Ventina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. Fuck you, I'm challenging you right now. I'm challenging your ass right now. That's right, I'm in your house, in your shoes. This isn't your gym, is it? Where the fuck is go? What the fuck? Hey! <laughs> All right, um, okay, so, all right, so by the same token, right? What does Max feel about stroll with your Pokemon? Fuck yeah. Why can't I- why restrict it to a singular area? I want to stroll with my Pokemon. What the fuck? Our Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, Torchuck, Torchway, Grotel, Torterra, Chimcharm, Inferno, Inferno, Pipla, 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 Pichu, Driftloot, Baneri, and Happiny. Fuck off. I want to walk around with all my Pokemon. It's the best feature ever, okay? Fuck you for taking it away, alright? I want that shit back. Um, what was that saying? I want to walk with my Pokemon. Okay, so... Honestly, like, okay, so I, I know it's like, oh, Max, you're... You're going down a weird path with describing your... Uh, with describing how you think religion should be in video games. I think it should be trained with the same... Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so literally, she's number five. <laughs> I think it should be treated with the same respect as cultures and things. Like, you want to you wanna include religion in your games? Great. Done. Good. All right, here's... What's my goal? Head over to the contest hall. Fuck off. Um, you know, how should those things be treated? You treat them with the same respect that you treat cults. Your job, or not cults, <laughs> with cultures, cultures. Right, exactly. If you're going, if you're going to be true to it, it needs to be done. You hey, what are all reli What it what is any religion but a cult gone major public? I say as a Christian. I, I, I say as a Christian who believes that Jesus is the Father, the God, their their salvation is done only through Jesus. Uh, <laughs> cults. No, um, I think religion should be treated the same way as cultures, and that you should take the time to completely research, respect, and understand them. Now, does that mean you need to like the moment you bring up any reference to any culture whatsoever? <laughs> Yo, dude, I give a lot for a one d ten Eldritch Blast or something. But um, should just because you mention a religion or have a reference to a religion you need to go berserk and then like evangelize people no but you're allowed to reference it okay you're allowed to just like you're allowed to reference cultures it's fine like that 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 is my thought process it's fine to do so oh, hi mom what the fuck mom why are you here but um it should be encouraged and it should be whatever like it should be done with taste and respect. Let's go back to the engineer from Final Fantasy 15. How much boobs and fan service is okay? 
it should be done tastefully and with respect, and it, uh, it, if it needs to be reflected in the ESRB, it should be. But also, there should be a certain amount of, this is what this culture thinks is fine. And if you don't think it's fine, well, you're not the one who made it. So it gets a little more issy there, but same kind of deal. Artists should be allowed to make whatever they want, but by the same token, it should, you know, their support should be reflected in people paying for it and giving reviews. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Abathrina about super contest shows. Fashion illogical. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Yeah, I know my mom. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to thank you for it. Take the sticker. I don't... <laughs> So come to us, Fawzi, if you judge you, we also have practice. Did you... Were you surprised to see me, Abathrina? I got bored, so I came out to Hardhome for a little vacation. I'm just surprised to see you, my dear. But are you serious about entering Super Contest shows? Not dressed that way, girl! It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I don't want... I don't know. I'm sure it'll look good on you after all I chose it. Go enjoy the Super Contest shows, honey. Shows will give you a different look at the many charms of... Love. There should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now! No. 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 Damn it! Same thing! Respect- Done respectfully in acknowledgement of cultures! I miss gambling! People recognizing that just because it's a video game doesn't mean people will do it in real- No, gambling is fine! So many game mechanics- No! <laughs> no, get your loot boxes out of here! Let's get this show started! Fuck you! No! People need to recognize that just because it's in a video game doesn't mean it's immediately gonna translate to people's lives in the way they're going to act. Quit preying on people with your money. If it's in-game, who gives a shit? But if it's with real-life money, it's a problem. Fucking Overwatch. <laughs> like, okay, I think loot boxes. Let's get on another tangent. I like getting on tangents today. That's just what I do now. Loot boxes, I think, were a brilliant idea, but it opened the floodgates. Oh, that red and blue fire, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I'll show you something wicked too. I forgot that you're German. Hey, I'm a motherfucker, how about aerial ace? Bitch. That's right, I know you're flying type, motherfucker. Suck it. Um, oh no, I totally did too. Pack out, it is an adult. I'm not gonna die that shit. Um, when I worked for Fortnite, I spent $20 on one Fortnite skin. It was the one that was like near the beginning that was like this like dark shadow is like this reaper looking motherfucker. I was like, that's the only one that looks good. But anyways. Um Heavy micro Jeez! But you know what? Honestly, if you enjoyed it, like, who am I to tell you you're not allowed to do that, right? Jeez! What game was it? Like what what yeah, what what, what game was it if I may ask? That was personal cutoff point. I hope so. After that much. So don't you make a game that falls with real life stock market for people to play the real man's gambling game? RuneScape does that to a certain extent. RuneScape does that too. It was Paladins. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Not going to game is the game is shite now. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. God, you had fun with it while you played it, though. I mean, heck, I, I spent a bunch of money on Overwatch. I spent a bunch of money on Overwatch, and I don't play it anymore, but I enjoyed it. It was good while I played it. But, um... Side, the sidebar, Joe, would, uh, so RuneScape had made these things called bonds, and basically what it was was that, like, you could buy a bond, and it basically cost as much as one month of membership, but you could sell it on the Grand Exchange, which was, like, their market. Which was like their market, right? So the idea was was that people could buy bonds with real money and put them into the game 
and then because you could set whatever price you wanted on the grand exchange eventually it equalized out so people figured out how much in-game money people were willing to spend for one bond which was effectively five real life dollars so if you're really good at the game you could get a lot of in-game money and effectively pay for your own membership that way from people who just buy bonds to get quick money on one side i was like that's fucked up but on the other side i was like that's brilliant that is funny as i'll get it because it shows real life stock exchanges but anyway I, I don't I don't remember I, I, I don't I don't know how much they are I'm playing RuneScape forever my friend Zach does though and he's been tempting me to get back into it but I refuse right. why wow, you killed my team again this messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever no I just need to get tougher and keep winning one day that's it I'm going to challenge the Villastone gym next see you around Abatharina you'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet Anyone want to talk about her hair cross just effortlessly destroyed that bitch? Anyways. <laughs> yeah, that that's where that kind of stuff comes into being a problem. What was I talking about earlier? Oh yeah, cosmetics. Um, or uh, loot boxes. I think loot boxes are a brilliant idea, but the perfect example of when they go majorly wrong is... Um, I didn't play much of it, but Battlefront 2, and not the and not the PlayStation 2 Battlefront 2, because that game is perfect. Yes, perfection. No, I'm talking about the um the newer Battlefront 2. Okay. I'm talking about the newer Battlefront 2, where um statistical differences would be locked to loot boxes, and where if um you wanted to grind for it manually, it would take thousands, like literally like hundreds, I think someone did the math, it was like hundreds of hours. Kind of a deal, right? Yeah, yeah, that good. Uh, Neverwinter, I was training some in-game currency you can get from events, so just saying you could buy it from you. Book of Oh, uh, was it EVE Online? The other one? But, um, that's kind of where my mind goes with, with that, of like, okay, you want to have loot boxes for things that are cosmetics. Annoying, especially if you're trying to get something specific, like you only want one specific thing, but ultimately passable. But it opened the door to everyone doing loot boxes, and I, I, I don't know if I could describe any worse frustration than... When you want one particular skin for one particular character and you have to get 1500 million loot boxes just to get the one particular skin for one particular character. So in my mind, if you are going to do loot boxes, you must provide an alternative. <laughs> like there has to be some way if you want to get something specific. Shit. But otherwise, eh, as long as it's not things that change the game statistically. Uh, EVE Online is worth, is worth more grinding in this case. Yeah, you can really lose months of real life, real time in games, but it's really nice to Work on your real life, on your real life ability to run, um, Kuchma calls it. Like, spreadsheets, advantage businesses and shit. Damn, you got Mega Drain. Mega Drain is fucking awesome. There you go, suck your brain. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. Julius, hello. It's good to see you. No! Don't paralyze me, you little shit. Don't paralyze me, you little shit. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck you. That's all good. Hope your book writing is going well. But, um, yeah, we're, we are doing... Like we are doing a bug only playthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Rules are simple, use bugs, doesn't matter if people die, this isn't a Nuzlocke, have fun. So, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I ran two accounts that I might not purchase set for my own, three months of that, I finally bought a larger ship and tried to move a little further up. It's just like, you know, you may or may or may or may or It taught you respect. Respect for the online world. Now, like, um,. Some friends of my sister's, like, she doesn't play EVE Online, but she was friends with people who really got into it, and they are describing how there was, like, 
literally wars that would last months and people would take shifts and they would have insurance and all sorts. It just the insane distance people went for EVE Online. Like, at one point in time, there's a part of me that's like, hey, EVE Online sounds fun, maybe I'll give it a try. And then I heard stories about that. And I was like, wow, that's a game I'm never gonna play. Ever. <laughs> yes. Thank you for this good rod. I will never, ever use it. No. Thank you for telling me how it works anyway. I will never use it. I'm gonna kill that Bibaro. Oh. Uh, never mind, I'm not killing that Bibaro. But I thought about it. Not that stated for the record, I thought about it. Alright. Um. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, there's, there's a reason I've never touched that game, and I do not want to. Um, some good shit I wrote. No, no, hey. Do you jog every morning too? Shut up. No, no. Hurt my feelings. I'm saying I'm fat. Yeah, whatever. I should jog in the morning, but I have to wake up for work at 5, and I live in South Dakota. It's freaking cold. Hey, if, if it is work that you like or it is tolerable at minimum, at minimum, no reason to, no reason to knock, all right? See, I just have to wonder, like, see, of course, you say, you say cook at your county's jail, and my first thought is to go down the twisted route of, like, so how big of a problem is there people, like, stealing forks and knives and stuff, but I imagine it's not necessarily your department, so that's me being just insensitive and silly. What I'm saying is, don't mind me. Um, I'm gonna make a train. Yeah, there you go. That's the important thing, right? Do not get food you already in this cosmetic and then take it one day. Then being reminded that you're not allowed to just do bread and water. You have no contact with inmates, so not forks and nuts. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good. That's I'm, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> that like, I'll admit, that's me going down a twisted road. Like that that's me going down a very twisted road of like, I wonder how big of a problem this is this. You know what I mean? Sorry, so, uh, two joys for, re for reference, um, so Red was paid, okay, he didn't, um, jeez, oh, this is um, Red was paid pixels for me to go on a rant about stuff, and our rant went for a minute, and, like an hour, um, and it, it kind of, like, started going to all sorts of, like, different subjects and things. And it put me in a ranty mood and you bring up COVID. I was like, let me tell you some shit. It's like, ah, nope, nope, nope. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's, let's, let's not. Nope, nope. <laughs> nope, take a step back. Take, uh, max, 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 take a step back. Take a step back. Okay, I'll drink your water. I'll push you. I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll There! Bugger off! Damn it! Um, uh, that's done spore this beak chew because otherwise he's gonna shit! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 
And of course. Mega Drain is a little bad. Yeah. Four bottles of brought her right now. Yeah, I swear to goodness, if you don't drown yourself live on camera right now. Wait. Ah, uh, hit me with the. Hit me with the confuse. Fuck you, Pikachu. Ah, uh, Do it for the views, brother. I'd, 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 I'd rather. I'd, I appreciate it, but I'd rather not. <laughs> Someone pays 15 million. Well, I, I know just to ignore it then. So, nana, nana. But, um. Someone pays like 15 million subs, like, you down that thing right now. I should have done it. I should do something for a birthday. Oh no, stream is disconnected. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It is that time of the night. Oh god. Well, I shouldn't say that time of the night. Alright, so, um. No, 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 it's come back, it's come back, the stream seems to have died, it's come back. No, no, no. Oh, uh, no, why, why it? Okay, let's check to see if YouTube works. YouTube still works, so... Hold on. Uh, you drowned the stream. You drowned the stream. How dare you? Wait, wait. Are you back? Okay, so fair warning, there's gonna be a bit of a delay now. Um, we're pretty far into the stream, so I'm going to... Uh, try, uh, try refreshing if it no go. Okay, okay, okay. Delay isn't too bad. Um, so, yeah, we are pretty far into the stream. Uh, I was thinking of going for another 30, 40 minutes or so. So I won't restart the stream just for sake of like keeping it all in one video. But um, yeah, fair warning, there's going to be a bit of a delay now. I will still do my utmost best to, that's bad grammar, to stick with what you guys are saying now. It's only about three or four seconds. Okay, good, That's that makes me feel a lot better. Ooh. Cool. Uh, but um, I'm sorry. I've, I I apologize for that. My internet didn't cut out or anything. My internet didn't cut out or anything. So, Ooh. better get one of those tanks to get your finger. <laughs> no, I drink. I drink no more. I I should put cooldowns on those things, but I feel like no one's abused it yet, so I have. Uh, it's all good, DJ, but thanks so much for stopping by. It was good to have you, man. Twitch heard you mention COVID. <laughs> yeah, they, they heard that I was going to talk shit about COVID for like two seconds. And they're like, fuck this, he's out. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for stopping by, DJ. DJ it's always good to have you. Definitely get the need to sleep. Uh, need to sleep business, considering right now... <laughs> Technically, for when I have to get ready for work, I have already burned 30 minutes of sleep, so... That motherfucker just dodged my Fury Swipe. <laughs> Sorry, I just mentally just like, wait, hang on. But, um... I'll, I'll spare, I'll spare everyone the... I'll spare everyone a rant about me and COVID. And My internet's good normally. Maybe it should happen. Fine. It's not the end of the world. I was like, oh, yeah, bug bite. Blurp. Wait, how'd you live? Yeah, we'll we'll go for uh we'll go for a bit longer. I feel bad that um those kind of glitches happen, but. 
I'm for it. Keep on trucking. Oh, my download for peaked at one point four. Yeah, you. I felt bad that I didn't. Um, I didn't respond immediately when you were talking in the Discord about it. But you're like, oh, my updates is 35 percent, 66 percent. Just like, wait, what? 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 What, what is he? What is he doing? Why? What have I done? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was pretty funny. Oh, that also reminds me. I did watch your one. Um, I did watch your one. Uh, Dead by Daylight video you posted in the Discord too. No, please tell me. But um, I watched your video of the Dead by Daylight. Y'all were the ballsiest, most stubborn survivors. I could feel the rage emanating off that Huntress. Give you only one shiny playthrough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. I don't have a reason not to. Yeah. It's right up there. Well, there's a bunch of Pokemon. <gasps> now I'm blanking. There's the one sexy poison fire dark lizard thing that only the girl can evolve. You, you got the same thing. You could have, like, males that are shiny. It's just like, well, shit. It's such a weird voice and weird volume. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll lead. We'll lead with Heracross. This is nice keeping everyone so even. Oops, away. Wait, can I? Will it do something fun if I spin enough? No. Okay. Fine. No choice. Like, as a survivor. That was all very well done, you greedy, greedy fucks. But on the other side, like, I'm looking at it from a killer perspective. It's like, that Huntress has to be clawing her eyes out right now with absolute bonafide rage. Like, I would be so... I've had games like that before. We're just like, for whatever reason, the survivors would just refuse to let anyone die. And it would just drive me up the wall. No, like, don't get me wrong. And, like, the teamwork going on among you four was incredible. But I was just watching it, and, it, like, I could feel, like, I could feel the blood boiling. Granted, I've played plenty of games where, um... Uh... Yeah, come on. No, come on. Granted, I've played plenty of games where, um... Different survivors would do that, and they, like, you know, they'd be being cheeky or whatever, and being like, oh, I'm so clever, I can... I can loop this killer for days, and then I would turn, like, a one kill into, like, a three or sometimes a four kind of deal, because they would all, like, fuck up as a group. And then I'd be able to, you know, like, swoop in and get all the kills. But, um, yeah, y'all lucky bastards. <laughs> that is what I will say to that. Y'all were lucky bastards. Jeff Bezos, sorry I'm talking about, uh, tar sorry I talked about COVID. Please don't shut me down. See, now I'm talking about Dead by Daylight. It's okay. Yeah. It's, it's all fine. It's all fine, yeah. at the time I'm thinking. Nope, shoot. Uh. Oh. No, you just, you just all had the, um, you just all had the same mindset, same plan. You're just like, all right, this is what we're doing. And you committed. Nothing wrong with that. 
Uh, you know what would be fun? If Megan and you feel up to it, we should do a Garchik phone stream. I have no idea what that is. I have... What are you talking about? A garlic phone? Um... Uh... Stream of that. Oh wait, is, isn't that like there's one of those websites that like you can you can have like a ton of people draw on the same picture? Kind of deal. All right, that's an intriguing idea. Or no, we all draw different pictures. So the first problem is Megan's an actual artist. She's ve she's very artsy and creative. I like I like it as a fun idea, but I don't know if it's if I don't know if it's something that I would do. But I like it as that is a very fun idea. Also, cute cowgirls hitting on me, and I don't appreciate it. That is a, like a fun game. Oh, oh, shoot. Is it a murder? <laughs> Alright, uh. This is the lost town. That's cryptic as shit. Nope, I wanna run it. What? Like, you're not supposed to intrude on time with. Si oh, they're cut. Oh, they're chasing. Eh. I'm gonna root. I'm gonna make you look like a bitch in front of your boyfriend. I just want you to know that, that is my that is my one goal right now. I'm gonna make you look like a bitch in front of your girlfriend. Here's step one. Here's step two. Let's see. We had one go from Scooby Doo Don't into Scooby Doo Fuse and Arctic Crunch. Right? Y'all have some weird games of telephone. Just say. <laughs> God, it's fun though. Yeah, I get enough people like working together. That like, could, could be a really fun time. I'm not much of an artist though, so I'd, I'd be I'd be laying down the team in a major capacity. But I'll consider. How about that? I can't promise, and I'm gonna say probably not. But I can. I do have a tablet. The drawing that I never use. I draw. Especially since I have new Porygons and stuff that I need to work on. Speaking of, you notice the Porygon to the right or, or to your left over there? Nope. Oh, they have eyes for Sue. Maybe that's why we lost. But I'm beautiful. Look at me. Um. Hold on. There's a few Porygons I drew that I don't know if they'll ever really see the light of day. But, um... Ah, okay, okay. I, that's right, I separated it into items. So yeah, you can see it's... Porygon with a sun hat. And with a... And, and with a... And with a, and with a because it's, it's a fun catcher. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I took the picture of the original, um, I took the picture of the original, like, bug hunter and drew on it, but, yeah. Also, here's a hint for what the next franchise series is. That's all the hints you get. Yeah, remember when we did Metroid a while ago, and then I was just wasn't in a good headspace, so I never finished it? Yeah, after Resident Evil, I want to go back and finish Metroid, and play a lot of the 2D ones as well. So, I think that'd be fun. But, um, we'll probably go back and do the OG. I'm gonna skip some of the games, though. Just full disclosure, I'm gonna skip some of the games. So, like, um, I, like, for example... Okay, something's wrong with this camera angle. 
Like this camera angle is... The way it's following and moving is unsettling and I don't appreciate it. At all. That's not just me saying shit, like I genuinely feel that way. This feels wrong. This feels wrong. I don't like it. This feels wrong. But um... So for example, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. I feel no compulsion to play the very first Metro game. I played it before in the past. I never beat it. It sucked and I hated it. Okay? I hated the first Metroid. And like, the breaking point for me with that game was, um, the breaking point for me for that game was, um, oh yeah, 100%. But, um, Yeah, when I discovered you could only have one special item at a time, or some kind of mechanic. So you couldn't have, like, the jump boots, but you could have the ice beam, and then you had to, like, go back to where the ice beam was, and then go and do that, and, like, no, the, the moment that happened. I remember that moment specifically. I was playing it on an emulator, and the moment that happened, I closed the game. I was just like, nope, not dealing with this. Fuck this. <laughs> so, no, I feel zero compulsion to play. The original Metroid. Similarly, the second Metroid, which originally came out in the Game Boy, so it's only two colors. No! No! <laughs> Max, you should. No! No! Alright, Max, what about Super Metroid? Yes. Even though I played it before. Yes. What about basically all the Metroids after that? Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Counter? I hate counter. No. Yeah, I, I don't want to counter. No. Let's see. Makes me wonder why I try to play IWTBDG with me, the one who came in front of What the fuck? What? I am. Oh, I want to be the guy? Yeah, no, I've heard of that game. No. <laughs> no. But, um... No, the... Okay, so, if... For the Metroid, uh... For the Metroid, whatchamacallit... It would basically just be... We play the games, have fun, don't worry about... If we get, uh... And in your grief, you decide to murder me. It would just be, have fun. You want a 55 in box TV for free? I mean, always, but now. Uh. See, I I don't think I've seen the full, the full game of I Want to Be the Guy, but I've seen bits of it. it was like, yeah, no. But um. It's, it's a good game to watch YouTubers play and laugh at their misery. However, I am a YouTuber slash Twitch person that has enough of... Oh, that's what you're talking about. Wait, so if it's in the box, why does it only display two colors? I thought you were talking about two separate TVs there. If it's in the box, why does it only display two colors? Nani? I don't understand. I'm getting lost. I'm getting confused. But, um... What was I saying before I lost it? Oh, um... For the Metroid series... It's a box TV, not in a box. Ah, uh, okay, that's why I was confused. I apologize. But, um... Yeah, for the Metroid... weird for the metroid playthrough it would just be we i'd be at liberty to skip the games that i want to skip and we would just kind of play to have fun oh i don't have 100 percent of the items oh i'm not speed running whatever kind of treat it the same way we treat resident evil you're like oh we we could take a step back and recognize this game's designed to be speed ran speed run whatever i am not someone that's gonna speed run them it would also be a recognition that a bunch of the metroid games i have played before 
Uh, so I played Super Metroid. I played the Metroid 2 Samus Returns remake. Uh, there's another one on the 3DS that I played that I really enjoyed. That I don't remember what it is. Um, I mean, I played uh, Metroid Prime, the first one. Uh, I played Metroid Other M. That was actually the first Metroid game I played. And, um... What's really actually? Have I made? Fuck yes! Holy shit, yes! 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 But, um... Hell and it's gonna be a fucking best. What was I saying? Yeah, so it, it would just be... It, it would just be us going back to that and just kind of having fun with it and rolling with it, you know what I mean? I played a few shooters on it. It was hard to do stuff, and all you had was yellow and blue for colors, so I think on this keeps us hard. <laughs> I wonder why. Eh. I kind of, I kind of want to see what it'd be like just for funsies, but yeah, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. Daddy, you were possessed. You were possessed by satin. Satin, Ned. Jeez, there's a lot of trainers in here. I don't even remember. Why am I in here? Why am I in here murdering things? Oh, God. It's just Bonsleys. They've all died here. This was the generation that introduced baby Pokemon, right? I don't remember. Bitch. You are so lucky that you have sturdy. You are so lucky, you little piece of shit. How freaking dare you? Bitch. Damn. My sorrow has deepened. Oh, ever since my son died. This sadness is nothing compared to it. makes it very hard if you have a Pokemon with you, I reckon you have to battle. In the middle of this graveyard. That's where Granny died, right there. <laughs> or buried, right there. <laughs> See, and when I did get the TV from living room, my eyes were hurting. For some reason, my depth perception from the game was gone, so I'd be like, I'm going to take the and be like, no, <laughs> See, on one side, that sounds terrible, on the other side, that's kind of You're like, this is what I just suffered through back in my day. My TV had two colors, black and white. No! Yellow and blue. <laughs> Thanks for good stories. Grandma is my gang. <laughs> God, that'd be terrible. I choose you, Grandma! It's like, what? It's like, yeah, I summon Grandma. <laughs> this is how I honor her. Murder that child, Grandma. It's like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> also, is it just me or are we like way over leveled? I think we got over leveled. Let's see. Yeah, look, giddy up. Uh, it's great. I do a black white TV, it still works. <laughs> Low sweep. Well, I guess we already have um, we already have a uh, rock smash and rock smashes. I can't bear up myself again. Not in front of my girlfriend. Now my boyfriend's watching. Both y'all. There. That's nah, not true. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Miss Drevis. All right, we're just gonna aerial. We're just gonna aerial ace that bitch, and then we're just gonna fury cutter the other bitch. Yeah, it's not. It's not super effective, but we can just overpower, and that should be average effectiveness. There you go. That might hit both. Yep, 
not super effective, but we can just we can just overpower your ass. Call it a day. Nice. Beach life. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I have to give up something. I'll give up gust. Yeah, we got enough other Pokemon and no flying type moves. It's fine. Place pound. So yes, after so with Resident Evil, it's gonna be Resident Evil two and three remake. At least one stream dedicated to Resistance or whatever that other one is called, and then um, and then Resident Evil eight, and then yeah, we'll be moving on to Metroid. Yes. Oh, these old ladies are gonna kick the shit out of me. The Lost Towers, where the spirits of departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short. And those who talk shit to people about their cemetery while both me and Granny are here. All the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. It's good you to have visited here. Take these technical machines. Oh, uh, I don't immediately recall it. To be honest, what you're describing, I I don't know what that is. Strength is hidden moves allows you to push whatever. I wish you wish you Pokemon gym. Oh shit! You gave me a clench tag. So you can leave unhindered. We don't believe in escape ropes. Back in my day. I would give your ass an escape rope as you left, so you could just super poop out. But no, oh damn! But no super pooping in today's society. That would be wrong. Max, what are you talking about? I don't. I'm starting to lose it. Like I'm not quite there, but I'm starting. It's starting to go. My brain. I'm gonna see if we can beat the gym and then we'll call it a stream. How about that? <laughs> is, is that a is that a good is that a good plan? We can see if we can beat the stream. I'm worried that my Pokemon are becoming overpowered, but I'm actually keeping. <coughs> Sorry. But I'm actually keeping them all pretty like evenly leveled, and I think they're just. I think they're just becoming overpowered on the grounds of. Of um, since I'm not constantly switching Pokemon out, I'm not worried about training new ones endlessly. So I'm able to get my Pokemon to be all big and strong. Um, uh, what? Uh, now drink more water, darling. Yeah, had fun with it. Hold on. Uh, free of worry. Yay. I still feel like I have something caught in my throat, but we will suffer through it. Oh, I will say, though, in the world of um, future, future franchise series, my next three are spoken for. No, it feels like I have something in my throat that might also be water. Don't you dare. But, um... Turns out my next three are spoken for. You know, before anyone else declares other stuff. Yes, I know. Parasite Eve was one of them. Oh, oops. But, um... It's... What is it? It's, um... I wanted to finish Metroid. And then my friend RJ, who I play D&D with, he really wants me to play God of War. Which I've only played like a little bit of the first one. And then after that, 
my girlfriend Megan was like, when are you going to do Tomb Raider? And then made fun of me that... Nope. Then made fun of me that I'm doing God of War first. And I was like, in all fairness, theory, he asked first and a while ago. <laughs> Yep, it would be the original Tomb Raiders. Huh? I don't know where this is. Like, what is, what is this shit? What the fuck is this? There's something special in that house, isn't there? And I'm trapped. And I'm trapped. Okay, good. Uh, Lord or single giant charcoal. <laughs> but I forget which one she said she played, but um she was just inside excited in concept. That like you know she thought I'd have a lot of fun with them. That was a waste of my time. So I guess there isn't a gym here, which is rather unfortunate, because I was going to say that'd be a perfect... Let's get to the city, and then we'll call it a stream. Uh... Whoa. Oh, god. No, maybe not. Let's see, we would only plan the hard skip on the AI mission until this was murder. It would take us about two and a half hours to do one, but if we lost the stuff, we'd have fun going loud, and it would still be the end of the season. Jeez. Yeah, it seems like a really harsh game, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, mm, nah. Mm, mm. We should just finish. I'm. Uh, we should just finish the episode. I'm starting to feel my head go. This is a good spot because then the next, next time we'll get to a gym and we'll probably be able to take down two by then. Yeah. I'm sorry. On one side, I want to keep going, but on the other side, I can feel my head starting to go. And you saw I was starting to slur earlier, so that's why I was like, we should call it. <laughs> and I shouldn't stay up too late. Play. Oh, hi, Cricketot. It's been a little bit. Just armored. Armored dudes with shotguns. There you go. Yeah, one side I want to keep going for a bit, but on the other side I'm like, ah, I'm. <sighs> my brain's starting to go. Oh my goodness! I'm about to start using that cleanse tag. Because I'm worried about being over leveled and I just keep running into these pukes. But I will say, now that we have our bugs, it does feel like the game's going pretty fast, not gonna lie. Like, we're kind of able now just to... Oh, I see. Like, we're able now just to, like, really steamroll the game, and I'm really enjoying that, not gonna lie. I'm gonna check my TMs real quick, though. Okay, um... Sort them bitches. Okay, okay, so... No, come on. Oh, it was at the top. Okay. Um, so, Bullet Seed, Worker... Thief. All of you can learn Thief. What advantage do I have with Thief over Bug-type moves? Uh, Ghost, that's it. Okay, uh, fuck that. Uh, Stealth Rock, damn it. Uh, Grass Knot, no... Luck would be good. Substitute. Uh, strength isn't the worst idea, but you both have slash and horn attack. Rock smash is good. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Um, low sweep. No one can win anyway. So the only one I'm really tempted with is um, Thief. And even then, everyone's pretty well sorted, so I'd say we're good. Oh shit, that actually boosts shit. Um, special attack, ooze, give it to Hamelnut. There you go. 
Um, yeah, I'd say. I recognize. <coughs> I'm okay. I recognize in some ways I'm kind of kind of short, but I'm starting to feel my brain really go hard. So I'm gonna say let's let's call it an episode here, because I'm. Yeah, that's all. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry about that. Like, you, you, you know those moments where you're like, where you're like totally fine and then all of a sudden like, just tiredness hits your ass and you're just kind of like, oh god, oh, suffering. That's me right now. That's why I'm like, we're good. We're good. So let's end the episode off here. It was, not gonna lie, I, I really enjoy going on rants, so. Especially we can talk about game design stuff like that. I just worry if I like repeat myself or say things that are obvious that everyone already says. I, the last thing I ever want to be is a yes man. You know what I mean? I want to try to give insight and stuff like that into how my brain works. But, um, yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Uh, next time we stream is going to be on Wednesday. We're going to be back to Tales of Arise. Like I said before, the plan is we will be sticking with Pokemon and Tales of Arise until we finish one. Because next week or so when is tail when does eden when does, when does eden ring come out when does eden ring the game that i'm super jealous for comes out elden elden ring it's e it's not eden ring it's elden ring it's elden ring damn it um feb 24th three days it comes out in three days. So yeah, we're gonna try to rapid finish. Um, we're gonna try to rapid finish either Tales of Rise or Pokemon so we can get to Elden Ring because I'm really excited about that game. And um, yeah, like we mentioned with uh, Tales of Rise, we're almost halfway done. So it's like, yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to cut that shit. Um, yeah, so because we wanna get to Elden Ring. Um, so Tales of Rise will be on Wednesday and then Pokemon will continue on Friday. And I'll switch our Facebook, Twitter, probably and Discord because it's second social media. Should I get the Trump social media? It'll be funny. Um I'll consider. Uh Vadis will be put on YouTube relatively quickly. The VODs for the Total Warhammer stream that made terrible television and the um last Tales of Rise were put up. And um Yeah. I think that's everything. Let's end the episode off here. Red West Joe, it's always good to hang out with you. Hope you guys had fun. Sorry about the internet issue earlier, but yeah, thank you all so much for coming. Everyone else, thank you so much for watching, lurking, all that good stuff. It is always good to have you. So, yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all had fun. I know I did. And I will see you then. Thank you for coming. Bye.